So you all are floating on a rock suspended in space, which is slowly approaching the lower kind of area of a massive rock-like structure underneath the building. You are now in Wertheim, home of the Spine of Death. Sitting on the rock uh, is all of you just kind of standing there, including Luke, who is clutching at his shoulder. He is badly hurt from the encounter with Thorn, and you can see there is a massive Ow! wound on the back of his shoulder. Ooh. What? I feel like Renee's like, sees everybody. Oh, okay, good. Turns around, sees Luke's hurt. Fuck! Uh, he seems to stumble kind of down to a, a little uh, sit on the rock. How bad uh, is he? Hmm? How bad is it? You can give me a medicine check, perhaps. Sure. That's an eight. Oh, well, he Ooh. looks pretty messed up, and he's bleeding a lot. Can uh, I give him my healing hands, since we don't have time for this? <laughs> you <laughs> may. You could say, uh, I think it's eight hit points back. Okay, yeah. eight hit Four. points. Yep. You can see the wound close a little bit, but Luke is still coughing. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, like just like that. So, so, yeah, sorry. I, I, I will imitate the cost. I'll be role playing the cost. Good, tonight. good, good. Cool, cool, awesome. Um, Frene is gonna like kind of kneel down next to Luke and just be like, shit, shit. Um. He lifts his hand up. I will be fine. I simply really? need time to rest. The, and she was about to say, do we have time? And then kind of thinks about it and goes, no, no, actually, I think we actually have a little bit of time because, you know, I don't think they know that we're here unless that thing comes with a fucking tracker device. When is this ascension meant to start? <sighs> oh, right. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the definite time, I am not sure. But the time is nigh. In a few Any hours time? or perhaps the end of the day. I am not so sure. Do you do you think we have enough time to spare an hour to wrap our wounds? Perhaps. But do you want to risk it? I talk to you guys. Sorry, <laughs> this is this different plane is doing something to my voice. <laughs> how, it's many okay. of, how many of us are injured? I'm fine for the most part. I should be I'm, fine I'm as well. fucking fine. So it's just Luke. Looks like. I'm fine. I'm ready to kick ass. <laughs> I don't know, Nathaniel's got a weird personality in here. It, I think the dimension jumping might have fucked up his yeah, thoughts. You know, Hail to the king, yeah. baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we should take a, a bit of a rest just to sort that out. That's, uh... We will have time for respite. We approach the lower levels of Wertheim now. To the rocky tunnel basement known as the middens then all right it is Why a dumping take... ground of failed experiments and garbage accumulated by the spine is this... we're not going to find anything uh, that's like potentially alive that was a failed experiment right i see so we're in the trash compactor <laughs> not quite God yet so <sighs> okay. it... what i am not what? sure what exactly will be found down there but it is dangerous, no doubt. Well, then, let's, uh, then we'll avoid that. I apologize. Well, it is the most inconspicuous point of entry that is not from the building's own designated portals. If we can find a safe outcropping, we can take a rest and try to at least figure out a plan here. For, I don't think just walking around aimlessly is going to help us. Uh, I'd like to look to Kara. You can see that she is taken aback by the scenery and just kind of baffled by it all, just kind of whispering to herself, kind of clutching her chin. Kara. Yes. She, she seems to snap herself out of a daze. Yes, what is it? What are the chances that they know we're here? Uh, I'm unsure. This is... Magic I was not expecting. I, I assumed some sort of a simple pocket dimension, a blank slate, but this is something else. I don't imagine that they would know. I, I wouldn't imagine why they would know we're here, unless Bloodstride has some sort of omnipotent grasp on the place. Or a simple wire spell that would be tripped if we enter. Uh... Perhaps we cannot we cannot get rid of that possibility. 
Renee, are you able to detect magic? I can sense traps if you it's so let's let's go ahead and try that to make sure that we're not about to walk into one when we go in the fucking front door. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That will alleviate our worries. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I have like a, just pats uh, the thing. It's back like there, there. I know that jumps a lot. <laughs> it's okay. I, it's okay. I can get a lozenge. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, I, I, I wanted to know. We've heard the name the Black Veined Queen a lot, and we know it's not Kara. Is there even one? Is there a bigger player here that we should be concerned with than Laszlo? He looks at Kara and back to you. Your guess is as good as mine, considering Kara Miharian is not the Black Vein Queen. Anything could be the answer. For all we know, the Black Vein Queen could merely be made up a false god to rally the banner of the necromancers under. Under. Under Laszlo. If he's saying he has the Queen's ear, then people are far more likely to follow him, yeah? I'm just not entirely convinced that he's at the top of this. It seems like there's something he answers to. That would not be out of the realm of possibility. No one has seen the queens themselves aside from Bloodslide, and it is forbidden to question any further. Only those. Now Bloodslide makes him sound too cool. Let's just keep calling him Laszlo. It means him. <laughs> oh, very well. Send. Listen, take away someone's name, you take away a lot of their power, power over people. How many people around you do true. you think know that his name is Laszlo? Being fair, we're really just giving it back. <coughs> that I mean, how cool? many people know that his full name is Laszlo Dunghad? Dungbite. Dungbite. Dung sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is based the last off memory. name is even worse, honestly. We could call him Mr. Dungbite. Perhaps in confidence, I would be more willing. So, in this case, only Laszlo and those who are deemed to ascend have apparently met the Black Vein Queen. The only certainty is those who ascend are not heard from again. We will get Great. all of our answers from Bloodstride. So we're not Laszlo. going to kill him on sight then? No. That There's comes later. That he... There's too much that he knows. We need to figure out how best to handle all of the people who will probably get pissed if he does die. If you can stay her blade for long enough, that man has a knack for making you a bit upset at him. Ah, that's not a familiar territory. Territory. Well. <laughs> Besides, so. if we capture him and bring him to Kara, assuming, not Kara, to Chandrel, assuming Chandrel's motives are pure, perhaps this. <coughs> you don't know that. So, well, what's going on? <laughs> Do you want me to check that for you? No, no it is all right. <laughs> it is all right. I just have to get through it. I just have to get over the hump. Beep. Uh, perhaps that will uh, forgive any lost time over the two weeks that we have agreed on. True. At this point, I'm not really concerned with our time limit in terms of our payment. And I'm more concerned for Murph. Couldn't care less if we got paid at this point. That's really the only major reason why I'm here. Apart. And with that, we should go. Mirth is in there. They will need us. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, let's go. <laughs> At, towards the end of this conversation, the rock does approach kind of an outcrop in the side of this inverse mountain below the building. You enter inside. Whoop. Mm -hmm. oh. <gasps> Map! This is, as you can see at the bottom right, the middens mm -hmm. of Vertheim. And you all step in. Uh, Luke kind of stumbles down. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. The blade, it seems to have some special properties I would need to be attended to. Perhaps uh, Miss Miharian can assist. She just rolls her eyes and just kind of kneels down very well. If... If only I'd known we'd be traversing so many underground caverns when I joined up, I would have brought more than my sleeping gown. She That's your down. sleeping gown? This, this was a three-day journey and you did not bring extra clothes. <laughs> she lifts one hand. Listen, I've already put up with all the societal shite with a necromancer. You think I'm going to give a single wit about what's socially acceptable to wear? It just smells. <laughs> Were we meant to bring extra clothes? Yeah. I certainly didn't. 
Oh my Yo. god. And she she kind of just puts like both hands towards Luna as a like C <laughs> motion. Listen, you have to travel light. Luna has been fighting <laughs> monsters and bathing in their blood for years. Her oral sensory faculties have burned away by now. Excuse and to me? be fair, Kara looks around dead things all the time. By now, her smell must have been burnt away. You know what? Yo. Fair point. <laughs> See? Onward, beep boop. Not all of us are as robot. particular as you, Mr. Witch Taker. I'm sorry that I'm fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Luke calls be out to you before you head out. Be warned. Uh, most members of the spine are forbidden to venture into the middens. It has all manner of secrets the spine would keep from even its own members. As such, there is a there should be a teleportation circle somewhere, but it is protected by a powerful charm that not even I have a full grasp on how to use it, so as to keep out forbidden members. Luckily, a master of charms happens to be with us right now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I wish you fun. best of luck, Witch Taker. Be At uh, least you will not Joe? be hunted by Thorn in the meantime. Not Joe, here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap out weapons. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, switching the gavel for the rapier. Okay. Because uh, oh. I do not want a single ounce of noise coming out of, uh, coming out of. Very well, my man. Can okay. I make a suggestion before we go on? Since we do have the ability to scout out a bit ahead first, I can send my echo down. That's a really right. good idea. Clue. Let's continue. Um, how far down can I see right now from where I am? Okay, so let me reveal a little bit. Also, did you cast Detect Traps? I haven't cast it yet. I'm trying to see how far I can get before I need so, to do it. When you look down, you ah! can see that there are three paths. What the fuck? And oh my god. <laughs> there is there is a bone oh god, golem right here that seems to be simply kind of just standing there, staring at the wall, banging its head rhythmically oh. against it. Oh, I don't like that. Boom. <laughs> Why is it? Like, seeing that, uh, Renee just might be like, um, trots on over to Carl real fast. Hey, Kara, what the fuck does it mean if your little skeleton man's like banging his head on a wall? What? It, it shouldn't like, be no, in control of whoever the caster is. Well, the, the caster is making him butt his head on the wall, like, just on, on the rhythm. Let me see. She walks it, over to take a peek. It sounds and like a 120 beats BPM. <laughs> she she just looks at it and just turns to you and mouths the words, "What in the ever living fuck?" She rolls shoulders <laughs> like, "Oh, oh god, oh, god. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I ask you." Uh, I need to see something real quick. If the echo needs to make checks, it's not mm-hmm. checks because I. Whatever it sure is, that. it. No one would order it to do this, or they might be insane. It, they did say that they dumped their failed experiments down here. Oh, per- right. Perhaps this was their attempt at an autonomous skeleton. Ooh. You can see her eyes widen a bit. They're trying to recreate my research notes. Maybe that's why Laszlo was all so shocked and surprised when you had a page before. It would that- seem of value, and if it were to fall in the wrong hands, I would assume that he would be a little bit upset about that. Yeah, so he's probably just trying to copy your homework. Poorly, by the looks of it, the skeleton continues to bang its head against the wall. (laughs) (laughs) Do you think this is something we can sneak by, or is this something we're going to need to put down? Uh, I apologize, but this is beyond my area expertise. I would. Uh, I I have an idea. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, hold on. Let me look at my inventory. I don't think I have anything that's like super. I have a vial of perfume. Um. I'm just going to very like kind of go over here, and I'm just going to um, kind of. Well, I'm going to hug the wall over here, <laughs> and then I'm going to chuck the perfume bottle lightly over this way, mm-hmm. Ooh. Or, like towards that tunnel, and see if I can get the the thing's attention by doing that. Just like the clatter <laughs> maybe getting its attention. Okay, uh, Kara lets you do so and starts to head back. I'll continue to heal your father. Try your best not to come to me every time you stub your toe. 
I did not stop my t he's she's just like as as Gar's like walking away like well, I'm sorry that he happened to get fucking stabbed mm. by your sister. All right, so you toss the perfume Oof. bottle. It clinks against the stony kind of raggedy floor just ding ding ding. And you can see the bone golem turn its head but continue to bang. Now its skull just kind of on its side on the wall looking in that direction. Oh, okay. So it oh. Just like looks back at Luna, like shrugs shoulders, like it. I mean, it's, it's not you, moving at all. Well, we could very easily test if something can go by without anybody getting hurt if I just send the echo that way. Okay. Just buy it. Uh, all right. Uh, yep. Uh, the, the echo. It's not Echo Dad anymore. I keep wanting to call it Echo Dad. It's not Echo Dad anymore. It's not Echo Dad. It's Echo yes. You. Echo. This is you. This is me. <laughs> oh god damn it. You're no. exactly where you're supposed to be now. Oh, I don't even have to go I don't even have to go into trance uh to do this because it's it's close enough, so uh, Echo's just gonna start walking along. It didn't say anything about if it makes stealth checks or not, but I think we've ruled that this is an object before, so mm -hmm. uh if you want to rule that this thing has to roll stealth, that's cool. That is if you are choosing to stealth. I think she'd make an effort to, yeah, still have it be quiet. I'm not trying to get the thing's attention, okay. but if it notices, uh, if it notices the echo, you may roll me a stealth pen. It'll okay. be a healthy experiment. Um, yeah, well, uh, my stealth is at disadvantage, because <laughs> I wear chainmail, and I'm pretty sure that extends to the. Uh, okay. I don't know why that rolled. I don't know why that rolled four times. Oh wait. Did oh. It roll Twenty-one. Four? Yeah, twenty-one. Okay. It, Damn. The the echo moves silently across kind of in the semi-dark cavern and it doesn't seem as though the bone golem has taken notice okay it'll leave I'm echo go there because it can't go much further away from me until without poofing unless i look through it and then i can't move so mm -hmm. yeah um, it doesn't seem like it's noticed it well that's a good sign if you want switch places from it and take the head just in case it does. Just I mean, I'd rather does. you scoot up a little bit more and then see if it wants to poof you first. Um, if your ghost makes noise, if it's farther enough away from us and we're hiding, it'll probably just attack the echo. I and then we'll know for sure, dead. yeah, it will attack things. Uh, Luna's gonna, like, gaze around you as Shelby's trying to me measure and make sure yeah, that like right it's not... There, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you go uh, there, then Echo might be able to go here. Yes, just let me yeah. get in front of you, please. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just another hands and surrender, like, but just go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, and I'll just, uh, have both my swords out just to be ready, and I'll have Echo actually take a step closer, not being stealthy, and see if it, uh, Okay. The Echo takes a step closer, and the clink of your armor and sounds of the footsteps the head turns 180 degrees, as does the torso following right after, and then the hips... Oh, God. And the legs kind of bend backwards to form knees and behinds now, and its body is almost completely turned around. It roars, runs through the echo, so the echo is going to poof. Oh. It runs into the wall, and it crumbles. <laughs> Holy crap, that worked! <laughs> Like seems a, a seems this bone golem was incredibly fragile. Oh. Hmm. What a nice job, Luna. She just pats her on the back. <laughs> Luna's just like, that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you for making terrible golems. Yeah, no, now I can see why they were failures. That was... Huh. That was awesome. <laughs> the more you know. All right. Um, taking a gander, seeing that I can kind of get some sort of visual of what, what stuff looks like in here... Um, which direction are we going? Do we want to go left, right, down, up? This is a maze. In every maze, you must go left. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Robot. <laughs> uh, that is fair. Does everyone right, agree to so... go left? Uh, just just uh, so you understand, me. this is me trying to do Nathaniel's voice. Right. This is a maze. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Um, oh, yeah, God. No. Don't even worry about it. Last for, for all of half a second, so yeah. we're sticking with the robot yeah. tonight. All right. Let's go. Don't even worry about it. are you following the uh, I want to follow shortly after them. Okay. As go I'm going to walk back yourself. to Kara. Uh, You're going to walk up to Kara? Actually, yeah. All right. Is there something I'm going to ask her? All right. 
I have one specific question I want to ask you. I'll go on. You teach me something very simple, simple spell. Without looking from the wound that she is tending, what do you wish to learn? Make sure that it's something simple. A spell that would prevent somebody from dying the first time that they fall. And don't you already have healing spells? This is not about healing. It's about doing something to make it right. Ah, your friend. Hmm. She considers this for a moment and thinks. And when you you would use this to prove to them about your consideration of necromancy, will you? Yes. Very well. She reaches into one of her pockets and pulls out a kind of slip of paper, writes down a few notes, and holds out her bony hand expectantly for yours. He extends his mechanical hand out. The spell is Spare the Dying. It will prevent, it will put whoever's been unconscious in a stable state so that no further harm can come to them, at least naturally. They will still need a proficient healer. But if you study this, you should be able to perform it relatively easily. Thank you. She goes back to healing Luke and kind of sit and mumbles something under her breath. Didn't anticipate I would be getting any new students. There is... There's not a sense of hesitancy, just a... a solid appreciation for... this. Also, Aaron, mm -hmm. uh, may you increase your volume just a tad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're incredibly quiet. Yeah. Sorry I've about I have that. you bumped up to 200%. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. And as... There isn't hesitancy, there is just... conviction in the eyes. Mm -hmm. And... I'm gonna make my way to the rest of the party. All right, congratulations. You now know Spare the Dying. All right. Sweet. So, you guys are going left, is it? Yeah. Okay. So, when you open the path to the left, you can see that there are various bones. I'll get to it. There are various bones as well as an elevated area, kind of a platform about 10 feet up, as well as various bookshelves, old, molded, and kind of worn out, as well as a chest. And on top of the elevated area, you can see a twitching body. Now, I'm going to ask, <laughs> does any does anybody have a problem with body horror? I don't have a problem no. with body horror, but this is, oh god, this is just... Okay. Mm, anyone anyone who, after just marathoning the any, entire Saw series? Nah. Anyone in the audience who may be triggered by body horror, I will give you a warning now and I'll let you know when the image is gone. You see a decrepit, malformed humanoid body that seems to be standing on what look to be burst ribs coming out of its chest and its spine coming out from behind it like a tail, its arm shriveled up at the top. This is what it looks like. No, oh, don't bring it closer. Oh, don't let me see more of it. What are you doing? Is, that is Joe Cat Inu. That is horrifying, but that is also like one of the most sickening designs I've seen. This looks like straight out of Dark Souls. I'm into it. You draw this? Yeah. Is this you? I did draw this. You? Why? Oh, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Why do you do nice this? All right. Question. So, trigger, trigger this warning is, is over. The, the I, image is gone for any audience members who are triggered by body horror. You I may return. I don't have. Yeah, I don't have one. But Joe, um, it was Ito. Joe can't thinking Ito. about um, about Renee's relationship with with Nakaramasi, does this look anything like? It is not a face you are. She has seen no, before? it is not a face you are familiar with. <laughs> Okay, I was just gonna say, like, no, like in general, it's just like the, the thing coming back all oh. wrong. Like, yeah, yes. it's not necessarily like, is this someone I know? Is it? Is is this too familiar a scene? Actually, yes. This Ooh. looks like an extreme version of what you have seen Luke create, albeit that whatever this was is like 
tenfold the kind of malformation of Luke's creation. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Luke oh, Full Metal Alchemist um, this shit. Fuck. Mm, this is not equivalent like, exchange. She just steps back and like has a hand on her mouth of just mm, mm, mm. Mm. And you can see that it's standing there twitching, just kind of moving yeah. sporadically a- about its single spot, looking around, searching with with various like occasional short screeches is, that uh, seem to echo in that room. Is Renee Joe? like turned away? From the scene, yeah, she's like, she, she's turned away. She's got her eyes closed. She's just taking a, a very deep breath. Like. Luna's gonna like come up beside you and put her arm around you, around your shoulder. Yeah. Oh, f- f- uh. sorry. Hey, Enoch, you wanted to do something. I wanted to see if I could stealth into this room. You may, if you so wish. All right. I wanted to ask beforehand. Uh, uh, let's see. To quote, to quote the. Uh, the DM for Mercs of Mischief, you can play D&D as much as you want. <laughs> I'll okay. Be 14. Let's see. All right. You move into the room, quiet as a mouse, as best you can. And when you do, unfortunately, your footsteps echo throughout this entire segment. And you see the body horror, which is what I'm just going to call it from now on, okay. turn to you and kind of Maybe angrily it's like- skitter its spiny it, it's like rib cage legs on the floor and i'm gonna need everyone to roll initiative it's not friendly dang it dang it <sighs> no. dang it i was trying holding out hope <laughs> i was gonna throw kuro at it <laughs> fun it has well i guess it, i'll talk to renee afterwards it has heard you unfortunately yeah. so okay okay it's fine <clears throat> it's fine it's fine fuzzy cool. dice Thanks, guys. Awesome. Oh, that that makes sense. Is it time for Luna to rage today? <laughs> I forgot to hit my. That's I forgot okay. to hit my avatar. I'll change so I'm it back re-roll to six. That, but then change it. Yeah, yep. yeah. So, <laughs> we'll just consider it disadvantage because Renee is having a fun shenanigan right now. Yep. All right. <laughs> While this is going on, as it screeches, you can feel a low rumbling, and I'm gonna need Nathaniel to make a deck save. Oh, for the love of Pete! Wait a second. Yep. Wait a oh gosh God, dang it's minute! The bones back to life. Ah! Is this the necromancer? Okay, For so <gasps> with a with a seven, you let's see. Oh you no! You see the rubble above you come just a little too late, and as the ceiling kind of drops, you can see there is a little cave-in. And Nathaniel, you take ten bludgeoning damage. Oh my God! As a, oh God! He can't handle oof. that. A bunch of rocks <gasps> fall and close oh, in shit. Enoch. Bye, Enoch! Oh, Holy shit! Okay. Error, error, wait, error. Wait, no. Oh, I might no. be able to get to him. I might be able to get to him. Okay. I don't think yeah. I have to see where my echo manifests. <laughs> well, I don't have to and worry about noise anymore. So now, Nathaniel, it's your turn officially. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, be so about Damn that, it. Joe. Yeah. What are you doing? What's this? What are you doing here? That's What's not, this? That's your <laughs> problem, not mine. But, <laughs> no, it's my problem now. Do these... Does this rubble look like I can knock it over at all? Like, or does it look, you know, difficult It definitely to get does through? look loose. Oh, it looks loose. Oh, so, so I, I gotta rage and dig us out. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, here. so perhaps somebody <laughs> with uh, with any amount of strength at all would be able to do something here. I'm the only one in the entire party with any strength. Yeah, that's <laughs> correct. <laughs> yep, that's correct. You know what? Fine. I'm going to oh, hold my action weakling. to give Luna the help action when she tries to dig her way through this rubble. Very well. I appreciate you. <laughs> there we go. All right, awesome. Uh, Wow, I'm in so much pain. Oh. All right, oh, that's my God. turn. Oh, Next, Enoch, you're trapped in this room with this body horror, as well as a bunch of, apparently, the bones on the floor have green mustaches now. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I put those in there that because is. the terrifying <laughs> monster cute. creature was wigging me out. That's fair. Oh, it's so fucking that's cool. cute. Rapier away, pulling out the uh, pulling out the gavel, and I'm. Um, uh, where's Kuro? Uh, where's you my, may summon him token? if you so wish. I assume he's just with you. Because yeah, you he's... desummoned him. Remember, you desummoned him when we went oh, through the yeah. portal. So you but don't have I... any, the his materials, do you? No, he's just in my pocket right now. Okay, uh, which I'm pretty sure it's going to take an action just to drop sure. him. So I'm not. I'm not going to waste time on this. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to 
I'm going to spend an action and cast haste. So I can... Right. So that way it brings my... At least my AC up, so if this thing tries to hit me. And then... <sighs> um, I can't get... I can't get up, so I... Well, I can't get... I can't fly right now, so... I am going to... Pull out the gavel, and... I'm going to spend my hasted action... Taking, uh, taking a shot at this thing. Okay, okay. Show me the shot. The 13? The 13 does not hit. You fire, it goes... You can see that this body horror moves with insane speed out of the way of the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Next is uh, going to be the body horror's turn, and it is going to screech at you, and I'm going to need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, it's screeching. Uh, it's it's, it's oh, one of my no. solid oh my stats. No, it isn't. It's an eight. <laughs> oh, rip and skip. Enoch, you are oh, feared God. by this. I don't think you needed to roll for that horrifying kind of abomination Shit. of humanoid shape and it is going to kind of leap on the ceiling which is only a little bit higher oh than god. it and start skittering towards you oh my god ah! let's see oh, i'm not a fan oh i'm not a fan oh i'm not a fan oh, simply comes oh, here and god. drops down next to you Ooh. Blink twice if you're dead oh, and that is going so to be its turn up, i love it Ooh. luna your turn Okay, well, bonus action, I would like the rage, please. Rage! Rage! Because rage. <laughs> uh, I need, I think I need strength checks, uh, Luna, do advantage. you know what it's time for? Because I'd like to start digging You'd like through to... this bitch. All right. Or, or, or you could say, you want to disrespect your surroundings. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to start digging. If this is if this is loose rock, I want to start moving yes, rock. Yes, you may with your you have advantage. Uh, advantage athletics check. Uh, Hey-oh. <laughs> you you <laughs> simply kind of like... <laughs> Hunch Can yourself I, like, older. Barge yes, you hunch yourself. You hold one arm in front of you, just angled to your shoulder, and you <laughs> burst through the rocks like a big explosion oh, to the other side. Da, 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 da. Uh, do I still have my movement? Uh, you do. Yes. Oh, I'm nice. fucking running through. Go. Can I get to I'm coming I through. I, I would say, uh, yeah, if sure. If not, I can be right here. Yeah, I sure. Okay, cool, because that way I can give you knock a flank if he's using a melee weapon. But otherwise, I think that is my turn. Action, because action, bonus action, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> Next is Renee. I am not doing okay. Oh, wait, I lost my rage because I, I, I didn't do damage. Wait, would you count shoulder would you barging? Would damage to the wall? Would you, you know count what? that as... Um... I'm not sure if it qualifies because it's like you can only keep it if you t Wait. do damage or take damage. Why did you it rage says, in the first place? I forgot you were giving me the health option and I'm <sighs> accepting my consequences. Yep. Okay. Yay. It says your if your turn ends and you have an attack a hostile creature. Yeah. So I'm uh... going to unfortunately count the rubble is not a hostile creature. Damn okay. It. That's okay. I I should have I should have planned that out more. I haven't played a barb that much, so that's my good, bad. Sorry, Nathaniel. I'm sorry. All this work. <laughs> Why am I here? I Just appreciate you regardless, Banana Man. Renee, uh, your turn. Oh god, I don't have a lot for this. Oh yeah. Mm, uh, just I'm conflicted as a player. I don't know how well Renee is handling this, but I guess what I can do is shoot it with my crossbow. Alright, I'm gonna say for flavor, you're gonna Ooh, shoot at it with disadvantage. Flavor. Yes, give me that flavor. Hell yeah. Oh yes, no. Yes, give me that sweet, sweet flavor. Inherent fear effects. Yeah, Inherent there are stats for being effects. afraid of a thing. Oh, I still do pretty good considering okay. I'm afraid. 17 does did not hit. hit. Oh, darn. Oh, it simply skitters dirty. away and turns its head. You hear a slight cracking sound from the spine that holds it up. Oh, God, is it looking at me? It is looking at you now. Oh, no. Renee is oh, like Renee, so baby, frozen. No. Baby, no, I, I will keep this thing for, from for coming flavor, towards you, I'm I promise. Move. For flavor, I'm not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Nathaniel. Wait, did you miss? I did miss. I missed with a 17, my dude. I got oh! Brain worms. 
great. Yes. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's not great. I'm gonna use a second okay. level spell as I hold my hand out. This thing, I know it's the product of necromancy, but maybe it's still got a little bit of, of heart left in it. <laughs> level two, sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Go to sleep. How much sleep is Wait. that? That is... 25. That's, uh, that's 32, 32 total. No, 32, 32. It is, if it is undead, it's immune. So here's the interesting Please. thing. Okay. You cast sleep. Okay. And it does. <gasps> it's asleep. It falls it's alive. simply to it's the ground. It's spot. It's like kind of rib cagey legs, limbs, just splayed out. It just falls, just twitching on the floor. Right. It is asleep. All right. Fantastic. I'm going to uh, readjust my coat, calmly walk up to it, and while it's asleep, I'm gonna start poking around. I'm gonna oh. like look it over. Poking this thing's around. Really gross. All right, give me an investigation. Yeah, thing, oh my god. Yeah, this thing's Nathaniel. gross and creepy. This thing's gross and interesting. Why would something make this? What what causes a body Why to look like this? This just this? seems like like you know the outcome of you know equivalent exchange or some shit. I'm so I'm curious. Just, and right. this is my 19. Back. Looking over this thing, you can see that it's warm. Ooh, it's alive. You can see its its flesh is warm and that there are black veins protruding from its fingertips and eyes very similar to how a necromancer would look after casting a spell no hate on your description but what fingertips you may look yeah. at the handout again you can see that its its hands are kind of like splayed oh, above right. it yeah. sorry I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> it's I forgot. crawling on its rib cage trying yep. to be a smart ass I didn't even. Sorry, I forgot that its hands were wings. <laughs> it's easy to forget. Anyway. It still has its own two legs, which makes it um, worse. Ooh. Are we still in initiative? Um, actually, no, we're Please. not because it slept. You're out of combat for however long a minute is, which I will. I'll be pretty generous with uh, eh. like what you guys wish to do because I'm I'm assuming you're working quickly. Yeah, what is I, am what, I what, what still in fear of it? Um, actually, over time, like, you would just naturally roll, like, because it's every six seconds, so that's ten turns. I would say you would naturally, eventually, the fear would go away. Whatever you're okay. looking for, Nathaniel, look for it now, because I'm about to kill this thing. Same here. I'm not. No, I think, I've, I think I've found everything that I need to. Okay, you I'd like to start kill fucking if you'd killing like. this thing, please. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, but wait, before you swing, make sure everyone attacks at the same time. For it okay. will wake up if you don't kill it in one blow. Would this be considered surprise? Um, I don't actually know, but I do know that it's an auto crit. <laughs> okay, well, uh, advantage auto crit, right? It's incapacitated. It's incapacitated, yeah, it's incapacitated. right? Yeah, it's incapacitated. Yeah. Surprised is not a condition in five e. Surprised is around. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Well, actually, that's not exactly true. Surprised is. Surprise is a condition, but only Before at the top round. of the round. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So technically you're restarting initiative and whatever it would get, or like whatever yeah. it does have, it doesn't get its turn. But if you yeah, so surprise wish, isn't... Uh, okay. whoever wishes to attack may attack, and I I'll just consider it all at the same time. I have two attacks, so... Uh, I I have two attacks. Actually, technically I have three, well, because I don't I'm think still... I, well, no, 21. it's because it's prone, right? It yep. is prone. 21. Okay, and, uh, I have a new one, because I've named my flame tongue now. Okay. Oh, nice. Wrath. So. Ah, I like wrath. Yeah. Uh, if you hit, so it's automatically first... a crit. Yep. Oh. It is. So, it is uh, automatically crit. Oh, do I need yep. to roll extra dice then? Shit. Uh, yeah. I'll so just 20, double. Twenty-seven. I'll double the damage that you deal. Um, okay. That's one. So let's see. That's nine. Yeah, it dies. <laughs> so okay. it only takes one. It's dead. It only takes one swing yeah. from Luna. That that twenty-one that you swing it. And just, this thing is very frail. You s swing it, you hear a bunch of crunches and a viscous black fluid just pff, burst from it. And it twitches and stops. The body horror is dead. As soon as that thing is dead, I am making a beeline for Renee because she's not okay and I'm right. going to check on her. I am going to take my gloves off and start to peel this thing around. <laughs> Gross. I want to look at it. I want to look at everything about it. Okay, Luna but, and Renee I don't want to get my gloves dirty. <laughs> Renee, I was I, I, I noticed I startled you last time, so I, I make my presence known before I put is, a hand on your shoulder. Is 
dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. Okay. 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 Fuck. I'm sorry. No. Don't be sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It looked like her. It looked like. Hmm? <laughs> I told I told you before, Luke performed necromancy, and I she, saw it. She she like she wasn't thinking. It's like she like her mind was going like a mile a minute, and then she mm-hmm. like realizes what you took mean. And her arm just like goes from like a hand on your shoulder to fully around your shoulders, and she kind of pulls you a little closer. This time, like because it's like she's aware of it, it's like okay, she's a little bit more just the the initial shock was a lot, but she's just like okay. Oh, that's that's what they mean by failed experiments. Great, great, great. Fuck. Can I can I do anything? Anything to help? If I, I can send the echo ahead to, to, to look before we even go around corners so you can be prepared. No, that that's about as much preparation as I'm going to get. Now that I know that the, those are down here. <sighs> Fuck. Don't, don't turn around. She just nods. Will you, will you be okay here while we... Search the room. Or do you want me to stay with you? I can I'm, leave it to the. Box. I'm fine. I'm fine. Go look. For all I know, I saw a fucking chest in there. It might be another fucking mimic. That's the last thing we need right now. Okay. If you need anything, just call. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. And she like kind of <laughs> gives you like a, a a slight squeeze, like in a half mm-hmm. hug, and then she, she walks back. Okay. Meanwhile, like, uh, uh, oh, sorry. go on. No, no, no. You finish. I was gonna say, like, as she, as like her arm like leaves, Brene's hand probably just kind of follows it until like the tips of the fingers are like, and then it's like separated. See, like that. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Meanwhile, Nathaniel, you're peeling this body like a banana, and uh, yes, that's yes. Why he's not yes. Why? yes. Enoch, he's everything. You can hear Enoch <laughs> reel a bit. <laughs> okay. And you can see that in place of blood, it is that same kind of black viscous thick fluid that has pretty much replaced all blood in its this body and just kind of various different portions of it you can see that there are just a, a few like hypotheses notes in its pockets about testing true resurrection and various different uh kind of methods of the like trying it with less jewels than is needed uh trying it with more jewels than is needed and when apparently from the notes as you can tell uh apparently tell this researcher ran out of subjects and decided to use themselves whoever was apparently with them is nowhere to be seen yeah it's very interesting enoch i didn't expect my sleep to work yeah Um, do you know what that Mm -hmm. means it means that this creature was alive which also means it was alive when this transformation occurred. You want to know what? I, you know, in my head, the worst possible, like, actual horror in my mind is, like, to visually see that kind of transformation. I I don't even want to imagine it. That is bad. That is, and I'm just going to walk into the room and I'm going to start climbing up. All right. Like, you can that play is- with that. I'm going to go play with this. This tells me two things. The spine of death, the one led by Laszlo, is desperate. And we need to find him quickly. Because Mirth's ascension is soon. And if they fail, well, I turn over the head of the creature a bit. Oh, don't do that. Oh, its jaw it. just hangs yeah. loosely. Anyway, okay. you know, are you going to look at that chest? I'm going to poke it with the end of my gun to see if it does anything. You poke it, and it feels like wood. Feels like wood. Touches like wood. Texture like wood. Must be wood. I'm going to open it. All right. You creak it open. Okay. And inside, you can find that there are six vials containing thick black liquid 
very similar looking to the one that came out of the body horror. A little glass vial. Well, that's just not useful. I take them anyways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna take all the vials and. You know, can you take... check what's on the shelves before you come back down? Yeah, sure. Uh, may I look at whatever is on these shelves? You may. You browse them. You see that there are various books that that they are all completely soiled to the point that whatever ink was on them has just completely seeped into the parchment. Uh, a lot of them torn, a lot of them worn out. It seems a few of them have, like, holes poked through them as if purposefully with a sort of bladed weapon of some sort. Uh, however, you do mm. find one sheet of paper that contains language that you've never seen oh. before. Not language you don't understand, language you've never seen before. Oh? Well, we could put that to the test. I know, Abyssal, Celestial, Common, Elvish. It is a language you've never seen before. Okay, that's fun. That, yep, that's, not, that's not accurate. Just, <laughs> let me stress this. Not just a language you don't understand, a language you have never seen before. You know how, like, we, as English weird. speakers, don't understand Japanese, but we know it, right? And we can yeah. we know it when we see it. But we don't know the, you know, the tongues of, of Cthulhu or whatever. Whatever this oh. is, you don't know what this is. Oh, that's even worse. That, and I'm all like, okay. It is very I... symbols. A lot of them are ruined in a similar fashion to the rest of the books, molded over, torn, and just dampened by the humidity of this this place. And same thing it's... for the bookshelf over here. A lot of ruined <laughs> books, but you do find that. Oh God, it's like trying to understand Cyrillic. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, fold the piece of paper into a into a quadrant. All right, and then I'm gonna slowly make my way back, and I'm gonna give the piece of paper to Nathaniel, as he probably is a lot better at taking care of this. Mm. I, uh, I hold out my hand, which has yeah. the black ichor on the fingertips, <laughs> before I stop oh, myself. Oh. Ah. Before, just clean yourself, please. <laughs> I'll take a handkerchief out, wipe that, and looking back down upon this yeah. mess, I'll put my gloves back on before I take the paper. Okay, here you go. You find the same uh, thing. It is not a language you have ever heard of before, Nathaniel. Uh, I also found these vials of, uh, gross. Ah, more trials of necromancy, I assume. We Probably. Should we should... Take care. This monster here is most likely not the first. Or it is not the first, it is most likely not the last we'll find here. This researcher had done experiments on other people before. Yeah. I don't <laughs> favor that kind of idea, but... Let's try not to spend too much time here any longer than we need to. Yes, as I said. It, for Mirth's sake... We need to move faster. Very much. All right. Which path shall you take now? I want to just try and look down both these paths before. All right. I can reveal more of those paths. Yeah, just so I, I imagine uh, while like, like, uh, Enoch was uh, off investigating yeah. books, I was just kind of yeah, wandering we just around time, trying like, to stick close to Renee. So down yeah. this way, you can see that it forks again into two additional paths. And then to the right, you can see that this path leads into another room that has kind of elevation going down, and you can see that there's another body horror oh, down there Oh god, there's as well. another one! Cool! Yes. You can see that this yes. room is a little less decrepit than the last one, as the bookshelves are more kind of still in one piece, more or less. It seems that some of it may you... seem f salvageable. There's another one in there. I can go in and take it out, and we can go investigate. There's a chest in there, I mean... a couple bookshelves. I mean, I could just take it out with a good shot. I can do it quietly. All right. All right. Sorry, but yeah, your your tools are impressive, but they're loud. And we're trying not to make our presence known. That is true. That is very true. <laughs> Looks over at the rubble on the side. Right. Sato. Very yeah. good at Sato. This place seems mm. like it's falling apart. I'm sure that's normal noise here. Before you do that, 
I would like to check this next area ahead of us, just in case the noise attracts something that we don't expect. Of course, do whatever you wish. Mm. Mm. Which way are you checking? Mm. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. <laughs> Left or the right? right? I just wa- What's in- Oh, I just want to look down oh, these holes. Oh, you just want to look- Okay. Just, well, just yeah, look I just, wa- just want to see mm. in case something tries to sneak up on us. Like Understandable. And let's see, you are able to and see- he's got a down the right path. Perception. And the left <gasps> path. You can oh see Oh my god. Oh, there are so many more! So- I have so many more mustaches to draw. <laughs> <laughs> down- <laughs> Down the right path, you can see that there is some kind of visible kind of green mist in the air, as well as a few more of the body horrors skittering about. You can see it looks like they're fighting amongst themselves, just holding their ground, and it seems that they are very hostile towards each other, kind of uh, jittering and scattering at the suddenest movements of each other, as if animals holding their territory. This one okay. seems to be gnawing on this bone golem, just scratching at it. The bone golem seems unfazed. <laughs> just sit. <there. laughs> this is my life. Okay. I've long since accepted this tumor that is now on my leg. <laughs> Wait. Then... So I have a question. Then. Yep. Go on. If there were there were these guys down here, but we fought something up here and made a lot of noise, and they didn't come after us. It does not seem so. Care. Okay. Well, that's reassuring. And there are more monsters, but sound? I doubt that they are going to be a problem. Feel All free right. to slay that beast. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. All right, do you wish to stealth in that room, Luna? Yes, uh, this is going to be fun, because I'm always disadvantaged stealthing. Oh, okay, don't um, It's chain mail, guys. Ching, 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 ching. Well, there's... Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, it's a 23 <laughs> instead of. What? I wish. This one fucking take that 23. Your session. Knock on wood. I, maybe. <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah, with a 23, it does not seem to have paid you any mind. It just seems to be eyeing this chest over here, looking at it, just staring. All right, I, I want to try and do this quick and. Uh, yep. You do quick have advantage. Clean, so. you may Coming take your swing. in like the Grim Reaper. All right. Uh, yeah. Death uh, for you. <laughs> Ah, uh, that didn't hit. Oh, no. Wrath. <laughs> yeah, wrath so, yeah, your first, wrath. Your first swing f- m- m- just like goes just a little bit. It looks oh, like it's about to hit. Oh, and it's a bonus action. I lit it up, sorry. So it gets the bonus. Oh, good. It gets the bonus damage. The first attack looks like it's about to hit, but you see it move at supernatural speed out of the way. <laughs> screeching at you. And the second one, f- just slice it. F- its head clean off. Just takes no effort whatsoever. And it f- just falls to the floor, dead. Uh, As Grody. Okay. Um, I want to try and kick its body off to the side just to get it out of like, yeah. Renee's direct line of view. If I can, like, this is a, this is a, de- a descend, so if I can just get it up against yeah. one of these things so Renee right, can right, see right. it from her vantage of course. point. It is surprisingly light, especially and, uh, for its size. I think I'd like to open this chest with my, uh, one of my swords. All right. I guess you just like tap the, the lid. You put the tip of the sword kind of in the crevice of the chest and you creak it open and it seems safe. Okay. <laughs> I'm waiting. Inside? I'm waiting. <laughs> you look inside and you find a very old, but as if someone has tried their best to keep it kind of as pristine as possible, kind of like those worn out things in museums. A what looks like a map of various continents on a globe, but not of the lustrous expanse. The language is equally foreign to you, not resembling any uh, that you've seen, similar to the paper that Enoch and Nathaniel found. I have a question. Huh. Yeah. So, I feel like this might take a survival check for me to figure out, and that's totally fine. But based on the path we've traversed so far with like the big entrance and then the two side rooms in the crossroads. Does this look like it might be a map of this dimension we're in and maybe I can find where we are on it? It doesn't. It looks like a world map. Oh, shit. A map of know. some kind of globe with continents. But it's, but but it's, it's not like It's not the I've world seen. you're from. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, I don't think Luna knows anything about multiverse, so that's fucking foreign to her. <laughs> You look at it, it's just a bad it's map. It's a multiverse of madness, even. N- Nathaniel? <laughs> yes? You might find this interesting. Oh? And I'll hand him the map. 
I look at this map, I stare at it, I scan it, I examine it. I have absolutely no idea where this is. I don't either. Oh, um, I'm so sorry, I already left the room, um, but would I have been able to take a look at the Yeah, you would have. You noticed that this chest is open and empty, as if something was taken out of there. Inside the chest looks pretty clean. Uh, as well as the books, you can see that there are various kind of old, uh, no longer... They are outdated spell books. You can see that there's various different spell books that are not the way you cast each spell because you know it, because you've met spellcasters and know a little bit of spellcasting yourself. Various different, <laughs> like, oh, uh, flame hands turn, you know, uh, flaming hands turns your hands into flaming fists that allows you to punch people. And, you know, things like lay on hands allows you to develop more hands or uh, lightning bolt is a ball that darts between targets and stuff like that. Inaccurate, you know, information. Whoever wrote these clearly did not know magic as much as they thought they did. <laughs> hey, so there's also a bunch of books written by amateur magicians that don't really clear out and contain correct information, if that interests you at all. Uh, I will take these books and look through them. Mm -hmm. Yep, you these can see that they're outdated from a, a couple, like nearly a hundred years ago, some of them. I'm going to, like, specifically look for any charm spells. Are any of the- oh. is any of the nonsense in these books, like, <laughs> written properly? Are these possible in any way? Well, a, oh. a, even a broken clock is correct uh, twice a day, so you do find some that are kind of, like, along the line- it's like they're- they got the right spirit, right? Like, uh, you, you find something like false life that does seem to show that it bolsters the vitality of the user. And as far as any charms goes, you can find that charm person uh, incorrectly states that the person will fall in love with you after you charm them. Uh, you can find something like hold person incorrectly state that you're able to move them about like a ragdoll, as if with telekinesis. I squint. And then, I, and then I'm going to look at the, this map again. And I'm going to hold it out. I understand that we're on a time limit, but... Has anyone ever seen this place before in their lives? And I hold it out. Okay. <coughs> um, if it's a map of the lustrous expanse, it is highly inaccurate. Can I make a history check? You can, if you so wish. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, 13. 13. Nope. This map is foreign to you. It doesn't, okay. it, you could presume that this is perhaps another side of the globe, but this map seems to detail a large portion. If there is another side of the globe, the globe is larger than you thought. So. So question about just, I guess about our world. Has there not, has there ever been like complete, completed maps of the world or are we not that far there, along? There, there is, yes, there are completed maps of the world. <laughs> As far as the so name of the continent, that is world building stuff that I have not completed yet. But you do know that there is a map of the world. Uh, there are a few places uncharted, but this map seems fully charted. It's just a lot of it is faded. But the charted portions that are have been sustained over whatever decay has befallen this map is not something that you recognize. So it doesn't look like Wait. any partial maps or full maps of the world I may have seen. No. Like, so it's this like, is definitely not... It's like if you saw a random world. weird uh, continent where North America would be if you looked at our map. Uh, I have a quick question. It, where where is the uh, Where are the ice caps? The ice caps? It does seem to have pretty normal uh, kind of cardinal directions as would be on a typical okay. map, north, south, east, west, from how it's charted. Uh, it is just okay. labeled and symboled with uh, a language that you do not comprehend. Okay. Interesting. Well, that being said, I want to see if I could start taking out some of these uh, some of these enemies, if that's You may. Okay. I think Luna had one more thing she wanted yeah. to do. Uh oh, yeah. I mean, if we're, if if that's where we're going, I, I thought I had a thought about the map and realized that it didn't make sense. No. Um, and I just stress quiet. I do this quietly. I have an interesting theory, mm. but nothing important enough to share. I don't, I don't think things. they're gonna mind much, anyways. Um, you want to take the eight, and I take the. Uh, I'll take the four. I'm sorry. What? Where are you pointing? Uh, you. All right. You take. You take left, and I'll take right. Okay. Don't die. 
I will certainly try. <clears throat> I just right, love I'm... that, if only because Enoch probably actually has a watch and Luna's probably never seen one, so she's like, what? <laughs> yeah, yes. the fuck is that even for? I grew up in Yedzel, excuse you. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm, I'm, also, I'm also somewhat of a soldier, so I guess. <laughs> I used sundials. Uh, yep. Strapped right, them to the wrist. Uh, <laughs> Means you're just looking up and being like, oh, it's dark. And when you I go over there, home. you can mm -hmm. see the, the rest of this path, and the fork continues down. Oh, cool. Oh, fun. Fun. Right. Um, Why did the music stop? So oh, no, for the sake okay. of, like, could I ignite my sword before starting to step, in, step into the room so yeah. I can have my bonus action? Also, you may. Can, during that whole conversation, could I have mended Kuro at this oh, point? Oh, yeah, most likely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. There's enough time okay. for you to cast mending. It's a cantrip. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, come on out, No, Kuro. I will give you basically Ooh. one round to do something before we roll initiative. Oh, boy. Oh, I, I'm activating the, the Ring of Haste immediately before initiative. <laughs> okay. I do have a quick question before I, I make my decision. Is Absolution doing its everything's cold thing? No, Absolution, ever since your meeting with the Raven Queen, Absolution has turned has functioned like a mundane sword. Interesting. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I mean, it's probably for the best if it was still getting I cold. I mean, absolutely. It'd be like the right around now. Is, a, is a hazard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So then I'm just, I'm ready to, to All right. do the bat thing. So, uh, thing. this is actually where a surprise round would happen. So, we're going to unroll initiative, but basically, Ew. you guys are going to do each of your actions first before the enemy will have a chance to do any of theirs. I'm back, baby. Oh, Renee is kind of back, 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 back in it with the five guys. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's a whole lot of guys. Back in the Krispy Kreme. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck you can't yeah. beat that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, Nathaniel. The cold is getting to Nathaniel. I'm no, doing my best. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Renee's the only one that's like, okay. I it's fucked up <laughs> that she's so not okay, but she's apparently ready for this. She had her... her... She had a moment. I don't know how many more she's gonna have. Okay. This is a lot more than I was expecting. I'm trying to kill them all before you see them, I promise. So, the uh, first one on the round is gonna be Renee. Ironically enough, I would actually assume that she probably would follow Luna. So, one, two, three, that's 15. And I can see them by now, yeah? Yeah. I'm just gonna shoot this big old guy with my crossbow. Okay. Shoot the big uh, guy with the crossbow. Do I want to have the flavor disadvantage? Am I still... How eh. does Renee feel? She's not okay, but at the very least, she, like, knows that they're coming now. It still does not sit well with her at all. all right. Like, she's still like, oh, God. Like, she's basically fighting the instinctual wanting to run away. And I will leave that to your discretion. I think my question is, if this is an incline? Right it here, is, like it is incline? a straight drop. Of can, 10 feet. can Renee even can Renee even see this guy then from the incline? I can from move how closer. Yeah, she, she can move closer. I can move closer. Well, no, I meant like, can 15, you see the horror 20. and not the uh, not the oh. big tall golem? Because you, I was, I was trying to make the argument for maybe oh. you can't see this little skittery fucker. I would say she could probably easily see it, okay, or, or perceive but... it from its sounds. Mm. Mm. That's valid. That's valid. I'm gonna say that if she's still at disadvantage. It's gonna take a little while before she's okay with it. All right. Just for flavor's sake. I got you. I'll make up for you. Oh Fucking my God. disadvantage okay. is doing nothing to you anyway. Okay. Just doing jack shit. All right. So did I hit Big Gollum no Man? You did hit Big Gollum Man. You fire it. It just lodges into kind of his <laughs> his skully <Fire>. head. <laughs> Full damage, BB. And Oof. he turns to you <laughs> and roars. <laughs> So much for being easy to kick its ass. And this roar, uh, it's not going to affect you guys, but you do hear a little crumbling kind of off in the distance, and some more rubble falls from the ceiling. <laughs> oh, please, please, Josh. Right there. Uh, that was fine. Uh, okay. That's fine. Over where we were before. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, that's mm -hmm. fine. We already looted there. Yeah, we already went there. <laughs> it's fine. You're late, it's dude. Fine. <laughs> All right. Next are the body horrors who it's surprise turn, so they don't get to go. Yay! You know. All right. Uh, so, uh, uh, two attacks plus a hasted attack. I'm going to start with this guy first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you uh, see all the, of them from where you are? I would say uh, at that angle, you can't see this third one. Yeah. 
the, oh, the, wow. this, one, this one down down here. Ah. Because okay. that, that's like too steep of an angle, and that's 10 feet down. Okay. Uh, and also, where's Kuro? Where's my boy? That is where's for my... you to decide. You have control over the Kuro uh, token in your uh, journal. I, I, my journal? Yep. Where? You may drag Kuro onto your onto the thing. Keep Kuro right there for right now in case he needs to do something All mean. Right. All right. Uh, three shots. Where's the first to one going? First shot. Uh, to this boy. All right, nineteen. Yep, that's gonna hit. Okay, and then damage is fifteen. Yep, it crumbles. It's very fragile. Okay, and I'm gonna take five feet across and fire down the laneway right here to this guy. Mm-hmm. Fired. And then I missed. And then I missed. <laughs> you did miss. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, I I fired again for my hasted attack. Oh, I totally forgot about I this. So something. when you after you kill this body horror, you can see it burst into a black liquid, and the black liquid oh. seems to float in the air into this one. <laughs> oh, they get stronger from dying! That's um, so interesting. Oh, I hate that! I know. So I'm gonna I give this one I know a little... It hit. <laughs> I, uh, <coughs> with the 22, I'm assuming it hits. Let me see, hold on. I have a separate stat sheet for when it has... <gasps> the AC gets higher too if get plus three. No, that does hit. It'll show me the damage. Okay. Uh, I, I, I know I should have said I wanted to... Well, I wouldn't know anyway, so... Yeah. So might as well. Okay. Then I fired. All right, Nine. you fire it, and it goes through. You can see it seeps some of the black liquid, but it's still alive. Uh, uh, Kuro, bark at it. <laughs> Go from a safe distance. Four. Uh, okay, so uh, force cannon, Kuro. Kuro, uh, do 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 do. Four strike, thirty feet. So. And he has a plus four. Let's see if it. Oh my god! Nice. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yep, that hits. Bjork. All right. Yark. 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 All right. And then the <coughs> damage is going to be a, a lovely one d four plus two. Three. Three. Nice. Could be worse. Actually, no, it couldn't. That's the lowest you could roll. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's as Oof. bad as it can get. Bjork. <laughs> it could be worse. It could be Renee's unarmed strike. <laughs> when his unarmed strike Listen, heals people. My, my unarmed strike hurts your feelings, okay? Ah, uh, yes. Moral moral <laughs> damage. So, moral damage. Damage to your pride. The Bjork goes through. You can see the body horror shudders a bit, but screeches back at Kuro. <laughs> but otherwise... <laughs> Kuro whimpers. <laughs> that is its turn. Or rather, it doesn't take okay. a turn. Uh, is there anything else you do on your turn? Uh, okay. Uh, do do do. So, it's all my actions. I don't think I really have much of a bonus action. Oh, I do have a bonus action. Expedious Retreat. <laughs> yeah, Expedious Retreat, just in case okay. something gets a little too, uh, gets a little too, uh, feisty. So, I just tap myself and now I can move, <laughs> move as a bonus action with Dash. All right, cool. And that's it. Luna, your turn. Okay, so I'm trying to figure this out, and I'm pretty sure to long jump, it's up to my strength mod how many, or my strength score, how many feet I can clear, at least according to roll yes. 20. So, uh, I want to run, uh, this might be really dumb, but also, it could be cool. I don't know, Alaylor had a lot of luck with this, so let's try it. Do um, it! I want to take five steps back, because I have to do ten feet to do this, and I want to try and jump on this golem. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say... So I have a rule where I like to consider athletics going up and acrobatics going down mm -hmm. because I'm you're trying to land. Way. So give me an acrobatics to see if you land on the bone golem. Okay, let's try this. Dice, dice. Oh, that's a nine. That is a nine. You unfortunately. A How many twenties <laughs> am I gonna roll tonight? <laughs> Listen, this is your night, baby. Let's go. So, well, cool. Fine. You it's you land needed. over here, and let's see. You take a little bit of fall damage because it's That's 10 okay. Feet. That's okay. I tried. I soared to <laughs> what is it? Soared too close to the sky. Just yeah, Icarus. Up again. It's fine. You, you it's okay. take two. Yeah. You take two falling damage. Yeah. 
and uh, you land again? right. You kind of like fall on the golem, like, but then like slide off, just right down here. Okay, um, that's a you part can feel of my each one of its bones on the way down. down. Yeah, that's your yeah, movement. That's a, move that's a movement thing. Okay, cool. Um, and that was only twenty feet, I think, unless you want to count my fall and like that. Well, my no, <laughs> you 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 fell. I, that does not count for your movement. You don't suddenly stop falling after you reach 20, uh, 30 feet. Okay, well then, just for for optimize, I want to move here so I'm not losing okay, okay. a square. Yep, but I'm you getting may. close to this fucker. Yeah, and then uh, I think it's just gonna be time to take some bappity baps. Take some baps. Uh, hell yeah! Well, first, uh, bonus action, Echo, please. Uh, just just uh, get over there. Get over get over there, Shadow Luna. Not there. Right here. Uh, I don't know if that counts to flank for anybody, but it doesn't matter because I'm not going to use that anyway. I would like to start smacking. Uh, we're going to work on big guy first. Big guy. All right. Big man on campus. Yeah, big man on campus because I don't want him charging grenade. Oh. Uh, Unfortunately not. That's not going to hit. You swing no. and pff, kind of against the bone. It is pretty sturdy. Wrath. Wrath. Okay. 21 against big guy. Hey! 21. Okay, you slash into it with wrath, your flaming sword. You f f kind of cut a big chunk of the bone off of the golem, and it kind of singes it a bit. Spill Unfortunately, I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> 23. Okay, what? you're fine. What? Fine you feel, for what? You feel a ringing within just like inside your body as you strike this bone golem kind of a shuddering kind of as if a you were a bell and you were just struck and a gong mm. sound from inside oh. your body however you're able to stave it off whatever it is okay and it's still up uh yep it's still up uh unleash incarnation to take one last attack at it okay okay be... well yep. i didn't have that but that's fine. Absolution one more time. 19. Yes, 19's going to hit. Yay! And once again, constitution saving throw. Oh, God. Uh, this, okay. 19 okay. for the echo. You feel, <gasps> uh, oh, for the echo, yes. You can kind of feel it from the echo coming back to you, that same feeling as if you were struck, but you're fine. Fuck, what the hell is that? Um, what does it mean? I don't know, but uh, I guess, uh, yeah, that's my turn. Movement, action, photo second. Yep, I'm done. Nathaniel. Sorry for taking such a long turn. No, you're Bring fine. it on. Okay. These guys over here, they're a problem. These guys over here, they're also a problem. Yeah, Me, they are. I don't have solutions. <laughs> but you are uh, fly as fuck. Actually, actually, that's not true. Uh, I'm going to wander over to this one, to this side. I'm going to help out with my boy Enoch, since it seems like Luna and Renee have got <laughs> massive bone men over there dealt with. Yeah, and I'll wave my hand, I'll toss out. in front of the gun. <laughs> Yep, I'll wave my hand, I'll toss out another sleep that it'll be second level, because we're extra today. Oh. Ooh, second level, okay. We get very extra. <clears throat> yep, so that's 28. Okay. And you're gonna try so and catch Daniel both? Serious. Uh, I'd like to try to catch both, but the, the so the way that the spell works is it's gonna hit whichever one has the lower the amount lowest, of health. Yes, and then subtract yeah, and then whatever's, whatever's left. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, and then so that'll go to... The one down here, it falls that's asleep. That's what I expected. However, the one up top is still up. All right and ready. Okay. Made, yes. Makes sense. Uh, all right. After putting that boy in defense mode, I'm going to walk the fuck away. Good luck, Enoch. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I did my job. One is dead. You're welcome. All right. You next is the top job. of the round, and the surprise round is Thank over. You. Renee. Check oh, this. boy. Um, I'm trying to save my spells because I have no idea what's coming up in this not even place. concentration. Understandable. I trust nothing. Um, so, you know what? Um, I'm going to shoot at this boy again. All right. Uh, still flavored because I why the fuck not? You, Renee. Let's go, flavor. Oh no, oh. flavor failed. Oh, please don't <laughs> tell me Renee shot me. Ah, don't, don't say that. Don't suggest it. Don't suggest it. <laughs> fine. Or even Everything's worst case, fine. I hit the thing that I'm afraid of because I'm aiming for this guy. <laughs> shot me. Okay, <laughs> I did a Definitely. little. I did a little on the fly severity rolls, and you do hit the Ooh. echo, and the echo. Oh no! Bursts. You know it's better than me. It's fine, yeah. Renee. <laughs> just, Renee just goes, fuck. <laughs> just no, it's kind of shaking her back. head. Yeah, fuck. she oh, shakes fuck. her head a little bit. Anything else you want to do, Renee? Um, good. 
I am so stingy right now. I don't want to use anything. I don't want to. That's, wanna. that's, that's a smart move. Valid. That's a smart move. Uh, yeah, no, I'm holding on. To, I'm holding on. I'm holding on because okay. stuff that I do have wouldn't really work well in this environment. Okay. I am going to keep a, a steady eye out. <laughs> Next, the uh, bone golem is going to stare into you, Luna. You can see that its eye sockets glow kind of a bright green light within it. I'm going to need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh. Oh, no. <gasps> 19. Okay. You are fine. However, this, oh. this gaze that looks at you pierces into your soul. You shudder and take 18 necrotic damage. Uh, that's half actually halved. because I'm. Ah, oh, that's right. So you only take, you, take nine, you take nine. You take nine necrotic damage, and whatever additional one. effect has not had an effect on you. This body horror, seeing the uh, shots fly out from above, is gonna go and investigate. <laughs> it does not disengage. <laughs> Luna, you have an attack of opportunity. Yeah, and I'm gonna smack it because fuck you. Smack it. Oh, no, I, I'm, oh, not no. to, I'm not going to. You do not smack oh, it. No. It skitters, crawls up the wall, and <laughs> goes up to you, Renee. Oh, no. oh, Renee. Oh, Jesus. oh God, she she might scream. It leans its head, kind of like very close to your face, just stretching, and it is going to screech. And I need you to make a wisdom save as well. Oh, oh. fuck! Uh, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Twelve. <laughs> okay. Renee. So, Renee, oh, you are sauce. actually feared, so you cannot no. move any closer that to works. this creature. Listen, I don't, I don't want to be close to anyway. Renee. Anyway. It got anyway. real close and personal anyway. Yeah, no, just fear is the fright. Being frightened is the worst. <laughs> frightened, rather, yeah. And, yeah, that's fine. Yep. And the this one is going to skitter on up. Let's see. Do, 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 do. It just made thematic sense. <laughs> yeah, no. It, it, it moves 40 <laughs> feet? That ain't good. It's fine. I'm coming to get it. It normally would Promise. move 30, but now it moves 40. It skitters oh, up. Oh, because it's bigger! It skitters up, goes to Kuro, and it is going to take one of its kind of like rib legs and stab it. <laughs> okay. Does an 18 hit Kuro? <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, it stabs Kuro. Just <laughs> you see sparks fly out as it lifts its rib uh, leg and continue onwards to you. That's just mean. Gross. And it's going to breathe out a fume out of its mouth. Oh, that covers. Ooh. Let's see. Yeah, only you two. So both of you need oh, to make a Constitution oh. saving throw. Oh no, not Constitution. Uh. Well, it's a good thing uh, it's one of my better ones. Oh, no, no, oh, we're about Nathaniel! 13. Fucking okay, Debbie's huh? already failing his constitution. Nathaniel, you right need now. to make uh, a constitution sorry. saving throw. No worries. Very it's sorry, blood. I was zoning out due to the it's sickness, okay. but here, I have it's succeeded okay. in my con save. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to my void. Okay. <laughs> Nathaniel, you take two damage. Okay. Ah, okay, that feels Enoch, good. You take four, and you are now blinded. Oh! <gasps> This stench, just like covering, just like in oh, your lungs, have make your eyes water. Bad. Yes. Uh, this is fine. Oh, that's so dirty. This is fine. It's fine. Wait, what kind it's of fine. damage was this? Necrotic. Okay, making sure. Mm -hmm. Dirty. Wait. It, Does that mean that Enoch takes was, half? Yeah. Oh yeah. Enoch, oh, you yeah. Yeah. only take two yeah. as well, but you are blinded. Yay. Okay. Oh no. Oh, oh and Kuro, take, hold on. I didn't roll for Kuro. Kuro, you take. Uh, I mean. Isn't Kuro dead? Well, we'll he see. Has, like, he has five. He has, yeah, he has like five hit points. <laughs> he has like five, or he has five, because that's gonna matter. He has. He has five. Okay. Well, he has two now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Anyway, so Kuro, that is the body horrors and skeleton golem. You know, mm. your turn. Okay. You may roll another Constitution save at the end of your turn. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't be blind fighting. Uh, like this. Okay, do I have Not with anything? that kind of attitude. Uh, yeah, well, let's see. Do, do, do. God, I wish I could transfer all my attacks onto Kuro. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, even at a disadvantage, I'm, I knew it ran up to me, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to make all, all my 
all my attacks with disadvantage then. Okay, okay. Should be fine. I'm willing to accept the responsibility, so first one's so <laughs> natural one. Alright, do your do your thingy <laughs> that you gotta do for your for your gun. Oh yeah, that's right. God, uh ba -ba -ba. This is this is what it's like. This is what it's like. Okay, so it has to be so misfire is three, so I rolled a seven. Should be fine. Alright. Okay. So that was your first shot. Next shot. Uh, even with disadvantage. Okay, the first one's pretty pretty solid. Don't no, jinx yourself. One. Okay, that one does hit. Yes, you fire Woo! the second one blindly in the direction of the body horror, and it does hit. And it blasts off one of its limbs. It is okay. close to falling apart. Woo! Alright, uh, You wouldn't know that, though, because you're blind! Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't know, so, uh... <laughs> Let's go again. Go, go, go. Oh, no. Whatever you roll is, even if it's above that, it's going to... Oh, uh, it's another critical fail! No. All right, let's it's, see it. I got it. No, because that's that's a skill that I can only get after a short rest, so... So I, you're going to break? It just goes click. It's going to yep. break. I have, I have to spend a sleight of hand in order to fix it. Oof. Okay. Yeah. Either which way, uh... Kuro. Go! Kuro, Bark! Bork. Bork. Kuro! Bork is my, uh, my healthy dog. No, Kuro! Bork does not, not go off. Oof. Bork, not enough. Bork, okay. not enough. Oof. Uh, well then, disengage. <laughs> uh, that is an action. Oh, wait. So, does Expedius Retreat allow you to disengage as a bonus action? No, I, I don't think it, it does. It allows you to dash as a bonus dash. action, but okay. not disengage. Not, yeah. not disengage. You've used up all your actions. So you, yeah, you used your yeah. action. I really wish I could disengage. All right, it's fine, it's fine. All right, I'm standing strong. This thing needs to go down. All right, Luna. Okay, oh, wait, uh, My constitution. I forgot my Yeah, you can roll your save. constitution to see if you're no longer blind. Is it a constitution or is it, or is it a save? Constitution save. Okay, that's a little bit better. No. Nope, you are still blind. <laughs> Oof. Now Six. it's Luna. Okay. I have a plan. Mm -hmm. So first, I'm manifesting my echo right here. Okay. And it's just going to stay there. I'm pretty sure I can do this, and it'll still be within 30 feet of me. Uh, I am not disengaging, so this will provoke an attack of opportunity, but I want to follow that thing after Renee, and I believe that'll take 25 feet of my movement, because that's yep. a 10-foot climb. That is a 10-foot climb, so boop. let's see. A fire! It misses you. <laughs> yep. It goes and to slam I'll... its fist, but you're able to move out of the way. I start fucking wailing on this thing that came at Renee, um, <coughs> with a fucking fury. I'm not raging, but... Go show me the wailing. No, no. 19? Yep, 19 hits. Six slashing, Ooh. and then wrath. Ah, that didn't hit. 14 <sighs> does not hit, however, this thing is nearly fallen over, just with that single slash. Mm-hmm. Damn. Alright, that is all I can do, but, uh, um... My echo is going to take an attack of op at that thing if it moves closer. Okay, okay. And I will be invoking Sentinel if it does so since I think I can because it's only one size category larger. Yes, it is a large oh. rather than a gargantuan or whatever. Nathaniel, your turn. This thing is Aha. right next to you and tried to blind you. Uh, yeah, that's not Daijobu. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> Why would I do that? It's, it's, it it's gonna know hurt it's, me. It doesn't know what it did wrong. Well, it's an abomination that would be a mercy to kill it. Oh, mm. it's a chance! That All is the ones true. Is death. <laughs> yeah, I can't abide this thing being so close to me. It might bother my cloak. Yeah, it might get <laughs> it might get that gunk all over you. Uh, under normal circumstances, I would uh, project like the image of something terrifying on somebody when I cast a dissonant whispers. Instead, I'm merely going to project the image of this creature onto this creature's psyche as I cast Dissonant Whispers. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's such a... Holy oh shit, my God. that's so shady. <laughs> All right, and is that just damage, or is there more to it? I forget. Yes, I so, so if you fail, you take 11 psychic damage, otherwise you'll take 5. And mm -hmm. if you fail, then you have to use your reaction immediately to run the fuck away. Yep, and that's exactly what happens. It just starts to <laughs> take its, like rib arms, the front rib arms, and starts to claw at its own skin and screeching. <gasps> and it starts to run away. And you both have attacks of opportunity. Ah, yes, me and my powerful weapons. <laughs> Your fist. <laughs> I have a dagger. 
Oh, uh, you have a dagger. Okay. Throw your knife. I, actually, no, I don't. I don't even have a weapon to fire. <laughs> you don't, no, you don't. You don't have the rapier on. You could just uh, drop your gun. Actually, no, I yeah. could use the rapier. I thought uh, you said you had it out. I, I think uh, you put it away. I do. He put it away, but round. it's a free. Ah. A swapping weapons yeah. a free action. It Curiosity is. compels oh, me. I will so stab. I still have. I still have objection. So. Pull out objection. Let's see what objection has to oh, say about this. At disadvantage. Uh, yeah. No, no, no that's not gonna hit. But the dagger hit. Yep. As this creature turns away, I'm gonna. Go, yep. I'm gonna grab onto my dagger and I'm gonna swipe at it to cut a piece free. When the monster skitters away, I stop and I look at the slice that I've cut, staring at this thing on the knife. May I see Do the you? damage on the dagger? No. All right. <laughs> Believe it or not, that it was so close to death that your slice <gasps> cut it down, and it falls. Oh, in that case, <laughs> in that case, as it's running away, I'm gonna tur like fl turn my dagger. I'm gonna stab it into the back of the neck, and as it cries, I'll pull my dagger back, and then I'll look at the knife. <laughs> yep. Your okay, dagger you one is dark. covered in a little bit of the viscous black fluid, as this thing it has been, and you can see the viscous black fluid starts to travel out of it, and it starts. It doesn't reach it but it's on the floor over here, kind of about to approach the one by Renee. Ah! No. Oh, well. Renee, look out. The monster next to you is going to become more powerful. That does not make her feel any better at all. <laughs> I'm going to wipe this, my knife off on the, on the monster because I don't want to wipe it off on me. <laughs> Very well. Next, Renee. Your turn. She is frightened of the thing, so I can't get any closer to it. Can I attack this while I'm in proximity to the monster? Let or me can just I look not? Up. Five e I think, frightened. I think you will be disadvantaged because you can have this thing in your line of sight. Oh. That's how that's how fear frightened works. I cool. Believe. So basically, just keep on working with my flavor. Yeah, because yep. if, you, if the thing you're frightened of is within me. line of sight, if you all your attacks are at disadvantage. Yep. Cool. I love it. This is perfect for my for my flavors. <laughs> Had this condition way too many times. It's the worst one in the game. What, do you fight a lot um, of dragons? Uh, no, my DM's just a psychopath and puts us up against stuff from the far realm a lot. Ah, good. Uh, actually, <laughs> like, knowing this situation and the fact that it's gotten worse and Nathaniel just said this thing's gonna get more powerful, I'm sorry, y'all. She's gonna disengage. Oh, no. It's she's, Honestly? She's gonna, yeah. Fair point. She's gonna That's disengage as an action yeah. and move good back. Shout. And just step like, into the black. This, I don't know that. Listen, I know you said the black goo is it's, there. You said it would become more powerful. I don't know not to step in it. Okay, that's fair. Maybe it's like the the slug from Spirited Away. I Evil will be gone. Evil be gone. Smack. But no. Uh, so that's. I'll. If we're, if we're really worried, I can go like there. So five. Evil 10, is defeated. Fifteen. Twenty. I don't want to go too far from everybody, and I still want to be able to see. Like, I, uh, just she's not doing okay. Like this is the, this is probably you, the, the worst she's you, been. Oh no, it, it's fine. It's fine. Play your character. I will kill this thing for you, Renee. I promise. <laughs> yeah, I no, she she this. just looks scared out of her mind. Can't have so. our, our bard be upset. That can't be a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's I my love turn. Renee I too guess much. I'll, I'll actually I can move twenty five. Be like up there. All right. Next are the body horrors. So the first thing that's going to happen is this uh, bone golem is going to ram into the wall. It's uh, into well, it. Um, and reaction, bone, the attack of opportunity. Oh, yes. Send Show me on. the attack of opportunity. Hana Sanai, yep. That's going to hit. It doesn't move. It yep. doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It doesn't move. It's about to move, but you chop it kind of in the tendon. <laughs> And it just stops it in its tracks, and it is nearly about to fall apart. Cool. <laughs> Sentinel. This body horror it's is going to try and move out of your range. Well, um, fuck. And if you use Sentinel, disengage doesn't work, right? But I've already spent my reaction, ah. so I can't attack it. Because the thing Sentinel does is that ignores disengages for attacks of opportunity. Right. Okay. Oh. So can run for me, you coward. This one's going to disengage and move into the black It's going to go to the goo. <laughs> oh, well. And the goo. Come back and fight me, you bitch. So <laughs> just. Oh, why is it coming over here? Sorry, I was just moving it so I could Good. Oh, okay. take care of that. And the goop goes into it, and it starts to just slowly start to inflate. <laughs> and its body <laughs> is like morphing and bubbling. You can see there's bubbling underneath its skin, and it starts to screech in panic. <laughs> Ah, 
This is an inconvenience. Come back and fight me. <laughs> Next, Enoch. You know. Oh, good. Enoch's you know, still blind. Oh, Enoch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you know, right <laughs> hey, guys, what's going on back there? Enoch, you know, are you still blinded? Uh, yes. <laughs> that might be for the best. <laughs> Damn. No. All right, uh, well... Uh, the only thing I could really do, uh, to do, do as per as per actions is either make attacks or try something dumb. You want to know what? Uh, I still have an attack action for my haste, so I'm going to expend an action and I'm going to just start trying to blindly fix the gavel. Okay. Oh. Uh, so yeah, show me that sleight of hand. Okay. Does blindness affect that That's a natural all? 20. Hey, yeah, oh my I God. don't think... I don't, I don't know how blindness works on crafting. Yeah, I don't I, know the first thing about weird. crafting. I've never seen a, I've never seen a would, check like this before. I would oh, say shit. that the old adage is you need to know how to, like, build and unbuild your weapon blindfolded. You know, yeah, probably you know, I, I trust in yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. You also mm -hmm. built the gun, so that's Yeah, valid. you know where the parts exactly. are. Yeah, exactly. All right. Congratulations, the gavel's fixed. <laughs> Holy All shit! Right. <laughs> Don't rob him of this natural 20. It's it's no, like... no, I'm just genuinely curious, okay? It's, All right. it's, it's, and, it's a question. Uh, I don't know what's behind me, so... You can can I have you've probably cor perceived the noise coming from behind you. The noise you. got a lot louder. Okay, okay well then I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna have Koro act like my <laughs> seeing eye dog point me in the right direction. So he's and, helping uh, you? Yes. Oh. Okay, so now your attacks uh, are normal. Yeah. Or at and, least uh, at least your first one, I'm pretty sure. Like help action only works for one attack, right? Yeah. It's only yeah. One. And then I am going to also take a dead eye shot. I'm gonna spend my second grit point and make that an advantage attack. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see where it goes. It was the first one's a 17. Yep. That's nice. And the second one is a. Uh, All right. That 20 says, show me the damage. All right. Here we go. Seven. That's enough. And this Yay! thing, you fire into it. You can see the bubbling skin. You puncture it, and it. Explodes into a black like balloon <laughs> pop, but nobody is within melee range, so everybody's fine. You can see that it splashes just like as, in the vicinity a, around it. <laughs> as he's holding the gun like like towards that general area, you can hear him say, Did I hit it? Did I hit it? Yes. Awesome. I'm gonna now I'm gonna Roll my saving throw to see if I'm unblinded. Yep. 23. Yep, you are Gosh. no longer blind. Let me take that off of you. Okay. Wipe your eyes and see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! That is nasty! Now it's Luna's turn. Okay, so Luna doesn't know about the thing in the other room, so seeing that's dead, I would just want to jump back down over here. <laughs> All right. <Whee! laughs> and uh, just fucking wail on this thing. This thing needs to Show die. Show me the wailing, uh, and you will have flanking because your echo is on the other side, essentially. Cool, cool. So that's a plus two, right? Plus two. Absolution. So 17? 17, yep, that's enough. And Yay! yeah, that six damage is enough, and you it crumbles to pieces down to the floor. Congratulations. And that thing is sleeping, so we're going to end initiative here. All right, echo okay, can dismiss. Okay. And I am again going... Two. <laughs> <laughs> Combat is over. This body horror is slept. You yes. have one minute. And I think Luna and Renee wanted to have a moment first, so okay. we will go to Nathaniel yeah. after. You Sounds see that? great. <laughs> Just Brent and Renee yeah. trying to calm herself down, which I assume will not take too terribly long after enough saving throws. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll send Kuro in instead. Uh, let's let them do their thing. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no, Renee's Renee's dead. Renee's not dead. Why no. did Renee die? <laughs> I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. Um, I walked over to you and you died. <laughs> right in front of you. She died of fright. Um, once um, again, Luna will like make some sort of like say your name or acknowledgement that she's there so she doesn't start with you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fuck. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. You don't need to apologize. <sighs> We're so fucking close, and 
Oh, this... It, it, this? This is the shit that's happening? Really? Really? Oh, God, the fucker. She, like, actually kind of thinking that does, like, kind of turn her head back to where Luke is. Just, that motherfucker. What are you... What can I do, Renee? It's just, it's, it's, it's going to take me a bit. I... Is there anything I can do to make it easier for you? Anything? Honestly, just... Making sure I don't get my ass handed to me. I mean, I'm glad to do that. <laughs> and just... You... See, seeing... You and... Enoch and Nathaniel, it, it does... Register, it's just... I haven't tried to think about this for a while, and... You, you don't need to explain your trauma, Renee. Your feelings are still valid. And just because we are where we are now doesn't mean that they should be pushed aside either. It's okay. We're close, yes, but we need everybody at our best, so if you need to take a minute, that's fine. Frankly. She kind of, like, keeps a, a hand over her mouth a little bit, like... It's like in a fist, and she kind of, like, holds it up. <sighs> yeah, I might... need a moment to just... Well, you we were talking about taking a rest, and it looks like we've cleared out this area here. Let me... I'll talk to the others. Just a second. Just stay right here, okay? Okay. Yeah. All right. Just rubs her eyes. Thank you. Of course. Anything and anything you need, just let me know. Okay. Yeah. I will. It's a good shot, by the way. The she like kind of thinks one. It's the one on your ankle. Or? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fuck. <laughs> But the feeling is, I didn't hit you, so I'm grateful for that, but fuck! So, it was a good shot. <sighs> just. <laughs> that grigs a little bit back of the old Renee. She's like putting her hands up, like, up into the sky, like, ah! <laughs> Luna's just got that like wasn't a half. a good shot! <laughs> Luna's got like a half grin on her face. She's clearly enjoying this reaction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. She's honestly happy that she got you to kind of. Like <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Great. In the meantime, Nathaniel and Enoch. Enoch, you sent in Kuro, yes? Yes. Now, as a homunculus, let me see stats on a homunculus. He is immune. He is immune to poison. He is, and that will help. As Nathaniel, you step through and you have you take this whiff. It's a strong smell. And although it's not one that's familiar to you, you do recognize a little bit of what this smells like. It is poison. Which is why you are totally fine. I had a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Snake man. It Snake was man. green, and Take green is the hand. universal sign. Boys. <laughs> yeah. In that case, I'm going to step in. I'll look at this broken down bookshelf. You look in the broken down right. bookshelf, and this looks like a lot of books that kind of seem more recent. Covers that are well kind of preserved. However, each and every single paper in all of those hardcovers have been either ripped out or vandalized in some way with black ink covering the contents of it. And destroying your research even after mutilation. Unfortunate. Mm. And after approaching this thing. So this spell does not work this way. I am wondering if it is allowed to work this way just for cool factor, but I am perfectly fine with you saying no, because th this is not what this spell does. Uh, I have encode thoughts. I was wondering what would happen if I tried to pull out a memory of somebody else, namely James. Right <laughs> I named him James. <laughs> That's his name. In Hello, pull James. out the memory. <laughs> yeah. So encode thoughts normally allows me to pull out my own thoughts and read them hmm. uh, and, and just like see them, like visually look at them. Uh, it is fine if you don't want me to do that. I'm just curious. If I, I would do that. say uh, no on account that that sounds like something so specific that there's probably a spell that does allow you to do that. 
Uh, I believe actually there is. One sec. I yeah. believe that there's yeah, a... Yeah, the tech bots. Tech bots. Yeah, the tech bots. Uh, which I actually it's have. It's called the tech bots. <laughs> I actually yeah. have. Okay. Well, that, in that so... case, detect thoughts. Well, I don't have that. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, uh, well. No worries. Mm. I actually have detect okay. bots. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> so can Kuro kind of paw at this... Yep. This chest to it see seems if it like moves. a simple chest as any, pawing at it. Okay, kind of can he open scratches it? and sounds like wood. Opens it, and All right. inside, you can see that there is <laughs> a rusty iron sword that looks horribly corroded down to about half uh, its blade. Like like it's almost as if it was just eaten away at the blade all the way down. Hmm. And uh, as well as what looks to be a an equally corroded leather tunic that seems to be folded very nicely as if it was put away like laundry. Well, he can only carry one thing in his mouth at a time. So he's just gonna gonna do a slight poof, poof towards Nathaniel saying there's stuff in here. Yes. And uh, Enoch, could you do me a favor? Yes. Uh, shoot this <laughs> th this creature please before it wakes up and eats me okay taking a deep breath gonna hold my breath while i walk into the room right, let's see I don't get i'm poisoned. gonna i'm gonna do some quick maths i would say getting there is enough to see it because i'm thinking in terms of because how this works is in combat whenever you are in the poison you take three minus your constitution modifier at the end of every turn but one turn is six seconds so if you're able to get here and then end out here well, within one like combat thing which we're not going to roll initiative for yeah that is 30 feet so actually yeah keep in mind, 30 feet. i'm hasted 30 feet I'm hasted, be, oh, yeah. right. keep in mind i'm hasted and i still have my hasted action my expedious my my haste retreat. well and expedious retreat right. which means in a single movement, I could go 90 feet. All right, so yeah, you can go pretty much like up here and then back if you wanted to. So let's see right. if your shots can destroy this sleeping body horror. All right. Yep, you take a <laughs> deep breath. Fired. With advantage. You. Oh, wait, okay. wait, is it actually? No, it it's prone matter. in your range, so it's actually uh, a disadvantage? Is that how that works? Yes, but it's also unconscious, so it's a normal. It is unconscious. Role. Okay, so it's normal. Yes, an 18 will okay. hit. This will auto crit. crit. Actually, uh, I, 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 I'm not sure if that happens with range. <laughs> with an auto crit, that's, that's forty. Yeah, that's yeah, that's still Jesus twenty damage. Christ. Uh, let me check to make sure unconscious makes you incapacitated. Uh, any attack that hits you has a critical hit if the attacker is within five feet. If the attack, I would say, well, um, well ninety uh, feet is enough to get within. <coughs> yeah, you've got ninety feet of movement. Yes, yep. a yeah. simple <laughs> shot just pff, it crackles a little bit and. Pff, you can see that and the black viscous <laughs> liquid falls kind of at its at the floor at the base of this creature and <laughs> there it has nowhere to go so it stays there yeah just pow how unfortunate i'm going to search this thing mr a little crab's bit. running noise yeah <laughs> um after i hear the shot presumably don't hear screeching, so I'm, I think that's enough to assume it's dead. Can I just call down that we need to take a short rest and uh, kind of gesture my head back in Renee's direction like she's not okay? Yep. I'm in okay? agreement with this. I, yeah. That might not be necessary. How, how do I get up? How do I get about this? <laughs> it's not, it's not whether Kuro or not just it's, flying. it's not whether or not it's necessary <clears throat> for us, it's necessary for Renee. I understand. I repeat, however, it might not be necessary. Well, uh... She asked for a moment. I am... Allow me to talk to her. And I could definitely use use some of that short resting because, um... I need to refocus my head on a few things. Oh, never mind. Need yeah, to I get my I need also, to get my marksman and stuff back. I could also benefit from just having a few minutes. Yeah. We're going to keep going. Just seems more productive. Tend to all moons bit. Never mind. Yeah. I checked what I was going to do. It's not going to work. So I suggested we rested over here where the Zalka is. There was a cave in, but we already know that room's barren. Unfortunately, I don't think it would be a good idea. I understand 
that Renee is in a difficult place, I know. Well, let's put it to a group vote then. I must uh, remind us. I must remind you that we're here on a rescue mission. I know. I am aware. But we also need to be at our best for this rescue mission. And that includes mentally. I, I agree. Hmm, Renee should be here for this conversation. I have a temporary solution. Uh, follow me. She's over Very here. Well. Don't, don't exactly want her mingling around the corpses of these things any longer than she has to. And disgusting. Hi, uh, she's probably, like, was having a, like, little bit of time of, of deep breath exercise, and then here's everybody walking, just immediately, like, her body posture changes as she, like, tries to puff up her chest. You aren't okay. No, but I, I can, I, I just, uh, this, I, I, I wasn't expecting these, she just gestures at the, at the body of the thing. Yes, they are familiar to you, I understand. If you are willing, then I might have a temporary solution. I can charm your mind to subdue, suppress the uncomfortable feeling that you have. It will only last for a minute, but it will get us out or through these creatures. I won't do it without your permission. Uh, Renee actually kind of does think on that for a second. Um, and she'll, she'll nod and say, I, I trust whatever you, whatever you're planning to do. So. Nathaniel, is it worth expending resources? Yes. I know we're trying to get here through this fast, but we also need everything we can. There's a lot of factors we fine. don't know. We don't know what stage Murph is in, and we don't know about this enig enigmatic figure they're following. You're correct. We don't know, which means that we should assume the worst. I will be fine. I wouldn't suggest it if I was unable to use my magic. But Kuro should scout ahead, ensure that there are no more of these monsters, so that we don't simply run into another problem. <sighs> well, then, can we leave yeah. Kuro to scout for an hour? Not an hour. We cast the spell, and then we move forward. But first, I simply want Kuro to check, because after a minute, the spell will wear off. If these are the well. only creatures here, then it's simple. But if there are more, and the spell ends prematurely... Well, it I should give... Then let's make... This will be the better recommendation. Let's send Kuro first, see if there might be anything, and then... It'd be better to send a command to see if he'll... If he sees anything, and when he returns, he'll bark as many times as there is enemies that are visible. And that, that is acceptable. All right. Uh, that's what we're doing then, and let's cut the time even better. There's three okay. paths, right? Three paths to check? I'm asking as I look yes. at the map. Oh. I, I only guess. saw two. Yeah. There were two. There's two more in that room. And there's one in that. Is it, there are four. There's, there's, there's four. one in the there's poisonous the poison. room as well. Well, then oh. let then Kuro can go down one side and my echo can go down the other. It can go about a thousand feet from me if I concentrate on it. It'll cut our time in half. All right. Very and sounds then like I a good idea. I can just see through it. Okay. All right. Sounds like a solid plan. Nods. Okay. Uh, does, is Kuro affected by poison? He is not. No, he is, uh, he is immune to poison. He's a construct. Perhaps you should go into the poison yep. room, then I'll take the other way. Okay. Alright. All right. Are you able to see through Kuro? I can't see, uh, I can't see through Kuro, but the command is, is that if he sees anything that is a possible threat, when he returns, he will bark. Alright. Yep. Yeah. I would and, uh, say, yeah. So, and where are you sending Echo? Uh, I am phasing into Echo Senses, so for that purpose, Luna up here is blind and deafened. Going into uh, the I'm Avatar? Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, and I am sending Echo, I think, down this one first. Okay, so down that way, you notice that this way, these two ways are actually one way that intersect into each other. There's a bookshelf, oh. there is an open chest and a few more bones and various sheets of paper and books strewn about the floor, kind of haphazardly. Time to get my mustache on. 
Okay. <laughs> um, right. seeing, seeing that, it will move the other way then. All right. And in the other way, you can see that there is, down here, another poison room. Whoop. I need to actually end this one. With three body horrors that are just kind of standing off still like statues, only with the slightest twitch of their head at kind of the drippings and crumbling sounds throughout the cavern and three chests. Okay, I'm just checking something really quick about my echo because it's kind of weirdly written. I'm just seeing if my echo has to make... It is immune to all conditions, so I don't know if that means it's it can't be affected by the poison. Environment. Unless I would say it can because poison is not a condition. Well, it is, but not this poison. This is more an environmental thing that... If it makes any just... saving throws, it does it with yours. That's blah, blah, same size as you, yeah. It just says it's a, it um, has one hit point and immunity to all conditions. Okay. Yeah. If it doesn't have immunity yeah. to like the poison damage type, it'll still take poison. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, well... Then it can't echo enter that room without uh, it disappearing. So that's well, where. Say love you. Well, um, yeah. would it be able to get right here and try to peer further down that hallway? Hmm. What's or your passive perception? Uh, my passive ain't great. Passive perception, I believe, is ten. Ten. Yes. No, that's as far as you can see. Okay. Um. Yeah, well then, if that's the case, I'll dismiss Echo and come back to my senses. Yep. Right. You've scouted out, that's... and Kuro, when Kuro arrives back, Kuro barks three times. Okay. Except one of the barks is a loud bark, like a rah! Oh. Big bork, really? Huh. Okay. So, these two paths, as like she's pointing, I imagine like she'll stand here and like point. These two paths connect. Um, there's a bookshelf, some, sc- some phones, an empty chest. That place had poison. I couldn't get too far down, but there were three of those things in there, and in the path, and two chests. <coughs> no, three. Sorry. Okay. Well, okay. as far as Kuro is aware, the the path going further down uh, leads to three more enemies, and apparently one of them is a big one. It's as I feared. And if. It's... If we can move past these dead creatures. I can still cast the spell so that you will be capable during the next bout if you so choose. Knowing that you're willing to do that, actually, it's just alone. I'm... It's... It's comforting. I just... Ironically enough, it's actually making me want you to not use it more, because if there are more of those things, I want you to be able to defend yourself too, so... Fuck. (laughs) I am perfectly safe, Renee. Because you're here. She smiles and nods and just... She'll she'll let you do whatever you decide to do. Uh, <laughs> My face betrays no emotion, only sickness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she'll she'll do she'll basically just give like an out of approval of like do do what you do what you need to. Very well. But we should do it uh, past these. This. Right. Yeah. No. Let's 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 just go ahead forward because we don't want you to be, have this beautiful moment and then so fuck it up by wasting it. So I assume just, like, I assume you guys forward. are going down the path that doesn't start with poison earlier on. Yeah. 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 Don't wanna, cool. I don't know how far that poison um, goes. Also, I wanted to know if anybody had anything that could negate poison. I know it doesn't affect you that much, like that, but I I don't. Unfortunately, Unfortunately. I can't dispel it or push it around. Well, perhaps we should uh, Okay. Well, there are three down there. If I turn on the lights, I can get more damage in, in more time. I think there may be a simpler solution. Is there anything in the way in between this hallway and the room? No, this hallway just goes right in. Uh, and Very they're well. kind of, the kind of grouped together. But they're all still, it's weird. In that case, I can simply lure them out, and then 
once they're out of the poison, we kill them. All right, I'm just gonna. It'll, yeah, hmm? it, I was gonna say it would, it would make it easier to fight if we weren't also having to negate poison. Exactly. So. That's also fair. Well, uh, what do you intend to do to draw them out? Just make noise. I'm gonna move over. I'm gonna pick up a femur. Oh wait! <laughs> Before you do, can I just make sure I'm in a position? Uh, I mean, I've got to walk down a bit so that I can see them. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure I've formed a sort of front line so that they can't get to the squishies. That's my biggest thing, is I want to protect you guys. Since all of you guys can range. <laughs> Thanks, mom! <laughs> Alright. I'm worried about all my kids now. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna move over here. Yep. Echo I see the freaky deekies. I'm gonna lift up right. the bone. This. I'm gonna chuck it out. <laughs> Are you aiming at any of the body horrors specifically? Really, I probably want to aim at the massive bones over here. I just want it, like, I want it to clatter across the ground. I'm not trying to hurt them. I'm just trying to get their attention. Yeah, okay. Let's see. But you're not throwing it at them. You're just throwing it in their direction, right? Yeah, not necessarily. Like, if it hits one, I'm not going to be upset, but I'm not trying to. Yeah, but to. you're not aiming for it. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, this one notices and its head like turns kind of like a snake just like around back in that direction to look at it and this one immediately just screeches just like clatters over and just like stumbles over the pile of bones and in this direction right here into the wall and i'm gonna need you to roll initiative we're oh, going can i roll go again five guys <laughs> Let's can go. we do yes. it? Yes, yes I can. can. Thank you guys. Cannot. It's okay, Renee. You have Oof. an excuse. Oof. And these guys are gonna be not all that The name fast. of this episode should be Femur. I hardly know her. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you know, you like that one? Here, how about another one? No. Molar, I hardly know her. <laughs> Initially, Boner, I hardly and what? Luna. You're up first. Woo, okay. Uh, I already have my echo out, so this is going to be fun. Um, so, again, I, I want to form a wall. Mm -hmm. So it's just, just, just get the echo closer. I think the echo can move up to my speed. So I think... I'm so sorry, I should have had this planned out. Yeah, that the echo can absolutely move there. If you get the Easily. Echo would standing there be in the poison, or is it that not? It's not. The no. If the tile, you can notice. I planned this. If you notice the tile itself, like whatever color takes up primarily that tile, <laughs> uh, if it's white, it's not. If it's green, it is. Awesome. Cool. We're gonna we're gonna start bapping. We're gonna start bapping. Bapping. Wapping bap, bap, bitches. Wapping bap, and smacking. Does not hit, unfortunately, even with uh, the flanking plus two. All right, wrath. Uh, I'm gonna say I spend my bonus action to ignite wrath. Right, not cool. enough. That's another twelve. See, see, that's the dice are doing that really fun thing. They don't like seeing <laughs> Luna be cool. Okay. Uh, well, I have one more unleashed incarnation I can do. So why the feck not? <coughs> yep. That's okay. a ten. That, all right. That's about whiff, right. <laughs> whiff, whiff, whiff. This thing is dodging back and forth, just clittering and clattering, just all you over the place. Son of a. Okay. Well, cool. I'm, 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 I'm just here then. I'm hoping that I'm I'm wedged in in a good spot that if anything moves past yep. me, it'll provoke an attack of opportunity. Nathaniel, you see this thing doing battle? Uh, yeah. Well, I don't particularly do battle, so I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Why? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna push it and run. Yeah, I'm just gonna shove it and run away. I I, I really. Uh, honestly, I think I'm gonna. This you you whiffed all of these, correct? Yes, I did. It was it was tragic. All right. A sad that, sight indeed. In that case, I'm going to cast Distant Whispers on it. I want right. it to see what it has become. And more importantly, I want it to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. Let me do, think, let me opportunity attack it, please. It most certainly think, does see what it has become. Yay! And fear just actually seven psychic damage. You, it sees what it's become and just just like scratching itself and it just fall to the ground dead. Oh my god. Oh. Like I said, I they're very, they're you very frail. You showed mirror and it died. Okay. Um, <laughs> Look at yourself. <laughs> I blink a few times. Um. Has anyone actually checked to see how powerful these creatures are? They're not that powerful unless something dies near it. Huh. Which just might be a problem. Renee, your services might not be actually required. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Renee. <laughs> but that ends my turn. Well, I'm gonna move a little bit more further back. I don't wanna. F I ain't fucking around with these guys. They got legs. Valid. Valid. Well, hopefully I'll be able to stop and legs right. for days. You know. What are you gonna do with yep. your legs? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going in. What I'm do those in. legs do? <coughs> is are you still hasted or did haste go off? Uh, how long does haste last? Uh, it's a minute, right? Uh, one minute. One yeah, minute. Yeah, so you're not would, hasted anymore. I would, yeah, I would yeah. say I would after that conversation, yeah. you wouldn't be hasted anymore. Yeah, I would have to re up before, but because I didn't, that doesn't mean I did. So, uh, I suppose with that being said, then those two in the room that I can see? You most certainly can see them. Alright. Shotgun bang, shotgun gun booby. Taking a shot at one of them. Uh, the, f the closest one to me. Show me gun bang. Yep, that'll hit. 18. Alright. That'll be a Yes, shotgun bang. This one pff, dies. Alright. And now and shotgun some black, booby. Black goop on the floor. And Just I'm like gonna right here. Aim aim down sights for the for the other one. Show me shotgun bang. Uh shotgun booby, really? Yes, okay. You're able to kill it before the black goop seeps into the next one. Just like two quick Ooh. shots. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yes. Ping. That is enough. Ping. Both dead before you even they even get a chance. Well done. <sighs> there are three chests in there. Nathaniel, if you would like to take a look. And so you can walk through this without, mm. you know, mm. dying. Yeah. Right. I'll, uh, hold on. Before anything, we should send Kuro in just in case any of these things might pop out at us. I'm willing Still. to take that chance. I doubt that the mustache skeleton. Yeah, let's not risk me. your dog if we don't need to. Oh, it's just a simple mending back together. Yes, but not it's too much not trouble. We have the time to pass that mending. Anyway. Uh, Nathaniel, mm. are you gonna open that chest? I'm gonna flip this chest open. Flip it open. And inside, you see that there is know, a row of a teeth. <laughs> yeah, <we're> both... <laughs> Sorry. You see that there are, uh, there is two potions of greater, ma greater mana, which <gasps> each one restores a second level spell slot. Ooh. Ooh. I've been using mostly those. Yeah, you have. And Kuro can open that one. Inside that one, you find... Yeah. Yep. Teeth. You find a, find a scroll of invisibility. As well, well as a few taken torn that. off sheets of paper with scratched out notes on them. Seemingly a bunch of failures. Whatever they were. Alright. Well, he's definitely taking the scroll. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's all he can take. One mouth, one grab. And this last one... Er. I assume you're gonna go open. It opened on its own. It's a mimic. Oh my god, it's a mimic! Oh, as if you're not gonna go open that chest. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for a second, Kuro had a mustache. <laughs> but of course, I would go open it. Of course, he has a mustache. There's nothing but fur there. Inside no, that one, you can see that there seems to be some old versions of the Spine of Death uniforms. It's not quite the same design. Whatever these are, they were made a long time ago, and it seems that they have been kind of outmoded by the new ones. You Ooh. can see that the trim is a lot more ornate and flashy and kind of swirls and designs all throughout, and it does retain the same kind of green and silver trim. Uh, green with silver trim that Luke is wearing, but this one is a lot. These are a lot fancier. There are two of them in there. What in the hell is this? I'm gonna pull out one of these outfits. <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit large for you, but you could probably grow into it if you have any more space to grow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you're a grown man. Yeah, I'm gonna be shrinking soon. Uh, <laughs> oh. I'm gonna collect these two outfits. All right. Uh, <coughs> I have a quick question. Go ahead. It's fine. I, I want to know if this is by hold my breath and see if this poison hurts you by contact or breathing it in. I feel like that's an important right. distinction if we can just hold our breath and walk through. So when you when you step in, it is not breathed. When you step in, you, you feel your skin immediately kind of start to sizzle and burn slightly. Okay. Oh, so okay. it's acid air. Okay, uh, okay, yeah, no, I, I step back. I, how much damage does that bear? Uh, if you stay in there, it is going to be three minus your constitution modifier. Okay. 
I'm gonna no. argue that I I probably take it because I was trying to experiment, but that's only one damage for me because I have high con, so it's fine. Ayo, it's fine. It's what it, it comes in through the skin. You could have just asked. And no, it is not acidic poison. There are many poisons that can be absorbed through the skin. So. Mm. Well, that's a science lesson. That so, I and, today. and how it works, just so you guys know, you could probably make your way through it, but how it was supposed to work was that any for every round you stay in the poison, at the end of the round, you would have taken that poison damage. So basically, what we could do is maybe could dash every through. 30 feet, every 30 feet, you would take the damage. Unless you dash, which is 60. Because that would be the movement. Yeah, so um, that would be the movement. And I would say, so yeah, the reason I say that ourselves. is because Nathaniel being about there, I would say, would reveal the, the rest of this yeah. segment. Because hey, what's over here? The other side's oh, right there. Okay. Oh. Problem solved. You could okay, all well, uh, likely what dash the fuck? through. It's okay, the yeah. Then, then I'd like to dash through and just summon yeah. my echo on the other There's side. There's enough space that you guys would happen. likely be able to dash through. Yeah. Unscathed. Yeah. Yeah, we can dash. I'll dash. Uh, would you all allow right. me to resummon my echo on the other side? You most certainly can. So Thank in you. this room, what I you see is you see a path to the direction that Kuro <laughs> scouted, and I'm just going to reveal that because I know you guys are going to want to look at it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna it. wanna kill things in there, probably. Uh, nope, I'm leaving that no, alone. We're, I'm not dealing with that today. So you can see yep. there are two more body horrors, a chest Isn't and a chest in there though. And a Yeah, but there's bone also golem. a behemoth. And in this room, kill it. I killed the last one. It's fine. Let him go! Listen. Hey! Uh, sorry. Let them in <laughs> flavor sorry, text. Sorry. No, it's fine. Uh, in this room, you can see that there is a trash heap with various different just nonsense and miscellaneous items from just random stones to mm. old moldy food to skeletons and bones and papers and trash just like all thrown into this pile. And there it seems to be another bookshelf over here with books that do not seem to have been tampered with. Mm. Look, see? Can you I, may. Can I, can I, you look inside, and it's you. As your hand approaches, it doesn't do anything to you. But as your hand approaches, it seems to be that there's. Uh, when your hand gets closer and closer, uh, the spot it gets closer to starts to grow, uh, glow a bright green, as if there is a green kind of wall of arcane energy that stops your hand before you're able to reach in to the bookshelf. Hmm. Uh, one of the ones better at magic would probably come check this out. Um. I'm just gonna stand here with my echo to kind of guard this path mm -hmm. so that just these fuckers don't come running down. Heavy breath I, runs oh, through his skins minute. to the end. <laughs> uh, and I'll, 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 Renee, if I see you come through, I point down this path and say, you get me to look down here. Skids probably hops a little bit at the end. <sighs> just rubs her arms a little bit. Okay, duly noted. <sighs> <laughs> Deep breath, and make my run. Uh, Kuro just comes <laughs> over. He he ain't got nothing to worry about. Just zero. Just late. Just like <laughs> strolling through like it's a normal day. I'm just standing in it, and you keep see seeing the damage marker zero zero <laughs> zero zero. <laughs> it's, okay. It lets you get get one point of free damage. <laughs> An another fun history, uh, another fun science lesson, you know. Did you know oh, that yeah? Yuan T can produce their own poison? Really? It comes from a gland. It's about here. Oh. And I'll point uh, just underneath my heart. Oh. Well, yeah. I would love to test that at some point. I. <laughs> Renee's just kind of like raising an eyebrow at the two of them, like, ha. Ah. <laughs> yeah, no. The have you never heard of dipping your bullets in a in, in poison? To be fair, I'm not familiar with the whole gun situation. Know what? That is absolutely fair. That don't just burn the poison off. Uh, no, actually, it's a mood point. I tend not to use the gland. It's a bit barbaric, and it usually splashes back and gets all over my coat. Oof. Well, this. This bookshelf has a weird book on it. I can't touch it. Never, you never want any splashback. It's just um, messy. I'm gonna look at the book. I'm gonna let the, Renee have this one. I don't. Renee hasn't gotten enough to do. Oh no, yeah. it's okay. <coughs> you get it, Renee. Okay. 
All right, Renee, the same thing happens when you approach your hand. The closer it gets, the more kind of area around your hands appears to be a green wall that stops you from reaching the books in the bookshelf. Uh, do I know what this magic is? You can give me an arcana check, see what you might okay. know. 19! It's a simple magic that stops, you know, anyone uh, from going through it. A simple dispel magic should get rid of it. Well, I don't have dispel magic. What? I don't think I do. I don't think I ever took it. Why does everyone think I have it? You have detect magic, not I have detect magic. magic. I don't have dispel. Mm. You do know that uh, it works functionally like any other physical wall. It's just magical, as is the person's preference. Can I use preference. mage hand then to get it? <laughs> well, can I use mage it, hand to go through? It functionally it's not works physical? like a wall. A mage hand would not be able to, unless your mage hand can go through objects. Is that how you that know, works? Uh, mage hand can. Mage hand can no. be a. Uh, Summoned wherever you can see it. So if she oh, you you could to summon, summon it inside. inside. Wall, I can just pull it out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna summon it inside the wall and just yoink it out. <laughs> I've absolutely done this bullshit before. All right, it's, that, that just open it from in the wall. If I can't pull it out, if I can't pull it from the wall, I'm just gonna use May Chan to scroll through the book. It's up to you whether or not. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Actually, that, that's yeah, an idea. I can just. I was gonna say it's up to you if the, the book can even come out. Right, but right. If you, she can just open it from the inside and yeah, just read it from there. That's great. Yeah, you know how like they display books with them open sometimes. Just do that. Yeah, yeah, I can just read it through the glass. Very <laughs> smart. The magic glass. Renee handled it. All right. Get out. You search through the books, you can see that these are more up-to-date spell books, and inside one of them, tucked away, just like deep into one of the books, you can see some very familiar handwriting. Uh, a folded piece of paper, when your mage hand unfolds it, you can see that it is a note that you are ever so familiar with. Oh no. More... More Morcara? More Morcara! Oh, Morcara! Morcara! Yeah, I'm reading it! And if oh, you cannot gosh. read the handwriting, there is text at the bottom. The notes at the bottom, yeah. Listed are countless notes on failed resurrection subjects, and below an entry in like to the others collected. No matter how much I siphon, how powerful the soul of the target, how recent the corpse has passed, how well preserved their body is, the results are the same every time. Research conclusion there is no true resurrection. If they had this this whole time, why would they keep trying? Ambition, a foolhardy belief they could do more than Kara. I really think that this has something to do with whatever this black veined queen is. I don't think that's just something Laszlo's conjured up. I feel like it's an actual entity. What brings this belief? Just the fact that so many people seem to believe in her, and yet everybody who's met her has disappeared. Except for Laszlo. It seems. I don't know if he's bringing her sacrifices when he's. These people are ascending. What if the ascension is just leading them to being ciphered by the Black Vein Queen, the real one. What if that's what this is? It would make sense why no one comes back. It would make sense why Laszlo is still still here if he's the one bringing them like a like sheep to slaughter. Maybe he's made some sort of deal with it. Maybe we're not dealing with a person. Maybe we're dealing with something kind of like what was in Enoch, something otherworldly. I could conclude to that. I find it hard to believe that Laszlo is working for... No, you're correct. How is it possible that Laszlo... No. If I'm correct, Laszlo was working underneath Kara Maharian for a time. Am I right? Yes, but he... Went, yeah? He went on his own way. Yes, exactly. I believe that this is him spiting his former teacher. Nothing more. But... It is worth being prepared for an unforeseen outcome. And we'll have plenty of time to talk to him after well, may- through kicking his ass. Well, then maybe true resurrection isn't what they're after anymore. I don't know oh. what they could be after. But maybe <coughs> they're using Kara's research to try and just spread the necromancy, not to, to search for true resurrection. Just felt all their own power in order to overthrow those in charge right now. As a you matter of fact. You all saw what Laszlo was doing, right? Sorry. No problem. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, 
As a matter of fact, these cloaks... We should have showed them to Kara, but I suppose we'll be able to afterwards. I believe that these may be what Kara and her original cult wore. It would explain why they're in the trash, a spited student. No, it's not true, true resurrection any longer. It is... Anarchy. Sorry. Anarchy. I'm assuming that over there is probably that circle we've mentioned. Yes. That looks like it's going to be a point of no return. Hmm. So. We had... We had better save now, or finish <laughs> our dialogue options while we have a chance. I was going to suggest we take rest. No, I, I need a rest. I just spent a lot taking all those out. I have to agree. Yeah. I need to make sure that I can face this just as strong. We know where our only enemies are, but to the north. I can stay here this, the entire time in guard. Very well. In the interim, I'm going to bring these to Kara, see if there's any last bit of wisdom we can glean from her before we face Dungbite ourselves. Alright, be careful. I bring would say, with you. You, for simplicity's sake, would you wish to lead them here for the conversation? Ooh. Oh, that works just as well. Yeah. Oh, Alright. Yeah. Uh, wait, here we go. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> give, give, oh, yeah. shit, shit, shit. There uh, you go! Yeah. We... Zooming on like zoomies. the banana wizard. He's got the zoomies. Boop. You know they say the banana wizard. We'll, I'll, I'll just put them the right fastest there. Man no, the <laughs> Come on, losers. We're going hunting. Oh my god. Get yep. in the van, nerds. We're going to LARP. Vroom, vroom. vroom. <laughs> Luke uh, has I, mostly pretty much recovered. You can see his wound has been patched up, albeit with a few kind of black splo splotches from the necromatic healing from Kara. They approach this room. And, Can I just make uh, a motion yeah. for people to be quiet just because we know there's an enemy in that side, so just keep your voices down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna Thank spend you. time. Yep. Thank you, Kara. Of course, but <coughs> she looks over here and looks at the bookshelf. These mm -hmm. are my books. All of them? Well, not all of them, but I recognize. Did that bastard steal from my library? Hey, it's another one of your pages on the shelf. He oh. seems like the type to steal. Like we said, he stole your homework. He does seem a bit obsessed. Ugh. It was either the ambitious student. What else did you learn of this place? It's full of abominations. And, and the um, monsters. Oh, you go. I'll point down at this one that I can just barely see. Oh, no, they didn't. There's been plenty of them. And that is what happens when you attempt true resurrection. And you can see, when she says that, you can see Luke just, like, looks down in shame. He just, like, a shadow mm. over his face. This is what happens to the person you attempt to resurrect, or to the pastor? To the person. These are all subjects, from what I can tell. There was also... I miss mean, like that, that big bone... <laughs> Oh, those are beasts that you. Those are bone sorry. golems. Whatever they were trying to do, they were trying to improve them haphazardly. Uh, it they, seems they did something. I can't really explain what they added, but it. When I was striking it, it almost felt like a bell. I managed to withstand whatever it was trying to do to me, but it was <coughs> different than the one you created. Mm, she rubs her chin a bit. Perhaps resurrection on a smaller scale. You see, when one attempts to bring back the soul, it rips the body in twain. It cannot handle such arcane energy and divine might on itself. And so it turns into such a creature. Ripping a soul is beyond mortal magics. So one, when one tries to, it is akin to ripping paper out of the hand of someone clutching it. It is in a state of being that is neither alive nor dead. And it's all it is is suffering. Renee kind of just her her brow furrows hearing that. I just look. Wait. Why are you telling uh, me that those things in there suffer? But 
That doesn't explain Thorn. No, it doesn't. I can't wrap my head around it. So, when we, we were told about Thorn when we when we were first, first took this job, but we were told Thorn was somebody who escaped a prison. Chandra seemed to know at least Thorn's origin. Wherever Thorn was kept, it was no prison. I don't think anything could hold that. If that is a resurrection subject, I don't know where they got the power to pull the soul in such a complete state. Not even all the dragons in the realm are powerful enough to do that. You'd need a divine, a true god. They don't step in mortal means. Unless the Black Vein Queen truly is a divine creature. That's what I was saying. I, I tr truly do not think that this the Black Vein Queen is only something that was made to spite you. And I don't think it's just a talking point that Laszlo is using. People are the only people that see her disappearing. Curiouser and curiouser. Well, these we'll particular more... monsters. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm kind of thinking out loud on this one, but what if Chandrill actually found something, something divine, much like, much like a uh, cog? That's literally what I said 15 minutes ago. Yeah, I know, but like... Well, if she has... it down. If she has, then I don't think I know what might happen. Divine intervention <sighs> is not something that I often dwell on. It's not often something I need to worry about. But I can't Im imagine they are very happy about souls being pulled from the afterlife. Especially with what kind of toll it takes on the body it's cemented into, as the case with Thorn, or the body that is used to cast it. And she kind of gestures to her herself. I'm just trying to narrow it down as to what god, what being would ever want to step down that close. What if it's not one that's currently in existence without being there? What if they created the something? What if somebody ascended? Kara, Kara widens her eyes and points to you, like the just like as yeah. if you're you're onto something. Uh -huh. Siphoning does create power. It does allow a user to go beyond their mortal limits. I, I stopped because it was taking a toll on my body. But if my sister has somehow found a way to contain all that power within herself, I we may had... be dealing with more dangerous than just a simple elf. I had a thought. <coughs> That the reason why nobody but Laszlo has ever seen the Black Bane Queen and been seen again is because she she's somehow using him to lead her powerful necromancers to ascend. Because no one who's ever ascended has survived. Or has been seen again, I should say. So. Mm -hmm. But it, what if ascension just means being siphoned by the Black Bane Queen? What? Should it, be, it would be so perfect. It would be something they could throw on you to discredit you so that you could do nothing about it and continue to have forces thrown at you in Cloveway. A perfect red herring. And with the desperation of the necromancers being recruited into the spine of death, no one would question it. Out of fear yes. of being kicked out and brought exactly. back to the kingdom. Exactly. It's refuge. Hell, when we entered Chester City, we watched a mob ready to absolutely annihilate someone for just being accused of necromancy. It, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. What of this hypothesis? If Kara, if Chandrel is capable of harnessing the power that comes from siphoning, and the amount of power gained is commensurate with those necromancers' powers, it would explain why she wants you so badly. And if it is Chandrel behind it all, it would explain why the quote unquote black veined queen is unknown to us. Of course she wouldn't want to be seen. How terrible would it be for the country to find out that the Viscount was the head of the leading terrorist or of the leading terrorist group in Belgamus. And it is a particularly efficient way of wiping out necromancy in Belkinus. That was ever her goal. We may have just found 
the answers we're looking for. Great. Only one well, now way we need to... to figure out how the hell we're going to stop. I was going to say, only one way to really verify for sure is Renee kind of looks over yep. at the portal. Luke steps up and uh, without looking at anybody, he's staring at the floor but simply gestures over to the portal. That will take you to the first floor of Wertheim. A storage facility where they put supplies for food, resources, books, and a majority of what is needed for new recruits. It should be mostly remote, aside from a few guard skeletons. It will likely have some uniforms for you to stay incognito while you go about the facility. Ah, and that reminds me. And I pull out the old version of the uniforms. What the hell is this? Kara looks at, at it, just kind of like lifts it with one hand. But this looks garish. Yes, I agree. You can see Luke kind of scratches the back of his head. Those were the old uniforms. They proved too expensive to make. E- expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so it's safe to say that. I believe that's why it's called garish. So it's safe to say that we can't. That wearing those would be a giveaway then. Because those are. You, you could. They would likely mistake you for high-ranking officers or veterans oh. of of some long-known renown. However, there are so few and far between that they would know who the members are. You would be hard-pressed to come up with a lie of why you have not been seen before. I mean, Nathaniel, you're the best liar I know. And Renee. Yeah. Come now, that can't be true. But I must admit... <laughs> The outfit almost does fit me. It would allow you to go into more restricted areas without question, but those questions may be difficult to answer. Renee, what do you think? You are the best talker out of all of us. (laughs) Um... Well... Are there any quick officials that would help us avoid those kind of questions? She just gives Luke a pointed look of, like, help. (laughs) Like, is there anything you might know that would make it easier to avoid even having to answer those? (coughs) Why would a a higher rank need to answer to a subjugate? (laughs) No, that's a great question. Perhaps you could pose them that question. All right, that's good enough for me. There is a culture of of knowing your place and not questioning when they're higher up make sure that you know your place. Fantastic! I'm good at being a prideful bitch. She just like, that was like, oh god! <laughs> I'd feel more comfortable with with y'all two taking the front line and being the face, and I guess me and Luna, we could always stand in the back as, I don't know, imposing muscle. This seems very reminiscent to the first time we all worked together, so this is fitting. Only this time, I'm a lot more cooperative. Uh, that's an understatement. And she, <laughs> she grins at you as she says that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and everybody's like, yeah, understatement of the fucking century. Actually, uh, well, let's put that to the test. Pick up this book. I I point at Kuro and I have him go pick up the book. <laughs> Uh, once Kuro picks up the book, I will, uh, I'll reach my hand out, I'll put it into, like, a finger gun. Bang. He falls over. <laughs> and that was quite meditating. Um. Oh. I think I might miss this when this is over. Maybe. Oh my god, really? I think that's the most sentimental mm-hmm. thing I've ever heard you say. Mm. Well... I don't know if I'll be able to actually let Kuro out because I don't want to raise suspicion. Joe. Yeah. uh, God. Holy uh, shit. Holy (laughs) shit. Yes. I'm the master of hit dice. Oh my God. Nice. Uh, uh, Dude. Nice. Uh, God, if there is a possibility, uh, is there enough, I would say, bones to kind of make shift and outfit to make Kuro look like an undead dog. Mm. He's made of metal. Uh, he's made of metal, but it's kind of like putting like a, a skull on a Marowak. 
You know what? I'm gonna give. I'm gonna let you <laughs> make a straight charisma check to see how well you can fashion Kuro a bony costume to cover okay. the fact that he's made of you metal. You literally just put the skull on. You're like, there you go, and it's a human skull. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's 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 the thing. Yeah, there's All no right. need dog skulls here. Char so yeah, it's a, just a charisma check. Just straight just charisma. Straight charisma. Okay, where here we go. Where do you find a dog skull? Eleven. <laughs> well, it looks like a dog wearing a bone costume. And just, just like a small you tapestry. Put him in your coat or something. Well, I would prefer him out, but if if we can't hide him, I'll just put him away. Yeah, the, that might know. be for the best because that just feels like it would be more jarring than helpful. All right, well, sorry, Kuro, and I kind of uh, rub his cheeks, and he just compacts back into a small ball, and I put him in my pocket. All right. Oh, Renee, if you're wearing the spine of the fruits, can I get my coat back? So I can uh, just keep my head covered yes. a bit. I have well, a bit of and, a, uh... and also, Luke did say there were extra robes in the supply closet we're yeah, about to go to. Yeah, just until we so. get to them, I have a bit of a distinct look, and I have been... Very no, no, that's right. You've really been spot. kicking their asses, so. <laughs> yeah, just no, fuck it. Just to give, give. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can pick me out of the lineup, easy. I know. I'm you going know. to assume Pull that you two are away. probably are not going. Are you going to be going up with us, or are you going to not? Who we will come with. with, although I will not be able to attend to you for very long, for I have my own responsibilities. But I will try to meet up with you back in the portal room whenever you are ready. There right. is a space for various portals designated throughout the kingdom of Belkinus. You can get us nearer to Belkinus proper? I can. Wonderful. There we go, fuck it. And Kara casts Disguise Self on her to a uniform that kind of looks reminiscent of the lower rank members that you guys have seen, and she changes her race into a human. Hey! Oh, I could do that too. Now that I think about it, do what? Uh, well, I can make myself kind of look like someone else. Oh. Disguise kit? Uh, no, it's actually one of my first level spells, disguise self. Mm. You've had disguise self? I just never used it. Oh my god! <laughs> I love Amazing. how everybody's disguising themselves, and Luna's just putting a, put a hood on. It's like that'll contain all of this hair. Uh, I mean. No, it's what good. Should I I'm fine with this. Right. It's not subtle. It's fine. Um, before we head can, out, can I like investigate this little pile of bones? As you may. That is? Uh, I want to see if there's any other like little notes or something about the people who have been, like unfortunately perished. Uh, you see that there are a few love letters down here. Um, <gasps> you can see that there is a what's the answer to number seven, and then a note back. Fuck you. You should have studied. Uh, <laughs> oh God. Uh, you can see that there are some notebooks, some trash, some old worn out clothes, just various, m you know, miscellaneous knickknacks and stuff and bones and trash. Uh, some like old molded food that is far beyond its due date. Um, mm. Before we before we leave, I'm, I'm sorry to bring this back up, but there's failed experiments. Did you say that they were suffering? Very you wish to put them out of their misery? Kind of. I will not stop you. Will any of you stop me? I mean, I'll help you. I just don't feel right leaving that. That's um, something yeah. my father would have been upset about. Yeah. I am bothered by their continued life. Oh, then? Mm -hmm. Enoch, you wanna cover me with some fire? We'll take these out first. Yep. Fine. Renee, this without expending. Hmm? Renee's actually gonna look over at Luke as, as everyone's discussing that. You can see Luke is just staring at his feet. It's very clear he is in a lot of shame right now. He says a few words to Kara. You can uh, overhear him that uh, saying that the portal is powerful magic that he cannot tend to, and Kara nods. She walks over and she starts to conjure a few things as if to see what she can make out of the portal to try and open it. As he mentioned before, that he does not have permissions to use that portal. So she's going to try and do something mm -hmm. with it. 
Enoch, can you take out the two small ones or go after the big one? Oh, should be easy enough as long as I keep my uh, space. And yeah. uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna activate the ring of haste first. Okay. <laughs> just in case, just in case I miss. Also, do you still have your healing and ability? Uh, I, may, I do. I may need it afterwards as well. I've already used mine. Uh, I can I can certainly do that for you. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Um, all right, all right. So I'm gonna count this as a surprise round. I trust in your guys' ability to kill these guys quickly. If not, we will yep. roll initiative for the, just the two of you. Yeah, okay, I feel so like I'm we're gonna... going to have to for this big guy, but you know, I can probably one shot these dudes. All right. Yeah. I'll let whoever wishes to go first to go first. Uh, do you want me to go first? Um, let me run in just so I can keep this big guy busy. Okay. That way, if um, that way, if he has any fucked up reactionary abilities, I can I can keep him in place. Okay, sounds good. All right, just having this ready. You don't need to roll right now. Of course, of course. Yeah, I'm just gonna run yep. into here. I'll say Luna takes a deep breath, but I don't think realistically she can in combat. So uh, that's yep. just flavor. Uh, and I will run in and try to bap this guy. I don't think I. Oh yeah, surprise! They don't get reactions. Yep. You're surprised, right? Okay, so cool. No attack of all. That's awesome. Absolution. 13, 13 does not hit, unfortunately. Wrath. Oh damn my it. gosh, what is with oh your rolls God. today? What is, what is wrong it's with Luna's dice? It's just your in general. What is wrong with Luna's dice? So that is Oops. your surprise turn. Uh, I still have a bonus action, right? Oh, you have a bonus action. You want to okay. offhand? Uh, no, I just wanted to put Echo out so okay. that I had extra shit. Right. And Enoch, your attacks. Okay. Uh, so the one closest to me first, gavel shot. Well, no. Nope. <laughs> We're trying Clang. to do this quickly. Clang. I trust in you. Uh, I blame right, the poison in the So, air. so because it, because I ended up taking a short rest, I can see if I can roll higher than a roll higher than a a three for my ability. Because to be honest, what happened? Uh, it's... slight misfire. It's fine. Slight. Misfire. It's fine. Yep. Racket. Uh, ah. Second shot. Uh, yep, 23. Okay. And then... Uh, as long as it's more than six, you should should be enough. Yep. Okay. yep. <laughs> and then uh, my third attack will be on the farthest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, all it's, right. Show me the damage. Yeah. Cool. And that means they can't, like, fucking yep. super saiyan You up. fire at them, and they quickly fall to the floor. And unfortunately, since Luna, you whiffed, we're going to do a quick... Little initiative yeah, here, so both of you are gonna roll for initiative. That's valid. Okay, I tried, yep, guys. I'm sorry. Yep, yep, Dice are just yep. not He's happening okay. today. Sixteen. Okay, that's decent initiative at least. Fifteen. Yeah. Well, oh, the thing is, your I, dice I had had it, but they were finally just puttering out. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. It, it's that I wasted those two nat twenties when I was trying to fix my macros earlier. Yeah. Bone golem get. Bone golem got a zero. <laughs> Bo Bo Golem goes last, so uh, yep. I'm laying into that motherfucker. Next, Luckily, yep. next round. it is your turn, Luna. Okay. The Bone Golem has noticed you and kind of screeches and yells in your direction. Cool, cool. So we are gonna bonus action ignite wrath so that I have that. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna start with wrath. Oh, that shouldn't be consumption, but that doesn't fit hit anyway. It's fine. It's um, fine. Sorry, I'm not radiant consumpting right now. That's a lie. Oh my god. Oh okay. my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Unleash incarnation one more time. Fuck you. Hey, okay, there we go. all right. You slash into it and a bunch of bones crumble. It seems this one was one of the frail ones that you saw er earlier. It is nearly down. Not quite, but it's uh, getting ready to charge. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. fine. And they just heal uh, back. You not kill it. You know? All right. I sidestep, I see it, I zone in on it. Uh, let's go, three attacks. Oh yeah, should I have taken poison damage? Yes, at the end of your turn, so you would take one, because it's two. It's three minus yeah. your constitution okay. modifier. Okay, so I'm fine. You I'm take okay. one. 22 to hit? Yep, that is to hit, yep. Alright, uh, that will be a cool 15 yes, points of enough. damage. that's enough. You fire, and it crumbles to the ground. Um, okay, <laughs> I just want to hold my breath in as quickly as possible just like kick this fucking thing open yep. I might take another point of damage but that's you okay kick I'm it open okay. and just quickly nab what's inside it's a mimic and... <laughs> it's a mimic <laughs> yeah I was gonna and say and leave out of the way yep 
Yep, and then I... inside you find. I don't think I quite have enough to fully. You find a potion of greater healing. <gasps> Yay! Oh good. Oh good. <laughs> uh, and I pat you on the shoulder and I give you uh, as much damage as you lost in there. And one potion of mana that will heal, that will restore one first level spell slot. Ooh. Actually, can I get that? Can um, I, I, get was that gonna, I was just about to say, push it into your hands in exchange for the yep. healing. Um, yep. and, and then Luna's like, you know, can't believe it. I shouldn't have held my breath. I think that fucked me up. I forgot. This isn't breathing. It's just contact. Why can't I use my brain? <laughs> oh no! Yeah. I mean, oh, your, your bring's fine. It's functioning. Uh huh. Yeah. No, I don't think. I mean, are you breathing? The reason I work with Scorpio, he's a bit more intelligent than I am. In the meantime, I think Brene, you wanted really? to say something to Luke. Um, I mean, she was just like keeping an eye on. It's one of those things where it's like she does want to say something, but she's not really sure what to say. Okay. Um, it was more so just her trying to gauge like how remorseful he actually is about all of this. Would you like to insight or use, sure, pa- use your I'll... your insight uh, um, uh, <coughs> score? Since you can I'll just- use it's, my insight yeah. score, yeah, which is a plus nine. Holy shit. Give it to me, give it to me. My passive, uh, yeah, yeah. My, my, or my passive wisdom, yeah, it's 19. You've my seen this face of remorse, it is not too far from the shame that you saw on your brother when it was discovered that he, you know, all the failures that he's done and that he has made so many mistakes and that he's trying to prove himself to you. There's a very similar look that Luke has from what you can tell. (sighs) Rene will walk over to Luke and just pat his arm in like a one-two. She doesn't say anything, and her face betrays no emotion. <laughs> oh shit. Oof. Oh. She's picking up the Nathaniel treatment, okay. Damn. Oh no. He doesn't move his gaze from his feet, but he speaks up. I did not want to say it, even when you confronted me and demanded to know if I regret what I did. And I lied. I... I do. Seeing these abominations, knowing what it does to people, what I did was wrong, and learning that the spine was no better than I was when you were also young, to see how foolish they are, like I was. I am sorry. You get to spend the rest of your life, however long that may be, making up for that mistake. Yes. Ever since I learned, that has been all that I have wanted. Not to be redeemed, but to atone. I do not deserve redemption. And he looks up to you, just eye to eye, and neither does Laszlo. She gives a nod. And let's start on that atonement. She'll just walk. He takes a deep breath, walks forward, and Nathaniel, you wanted to do something with Kara. Yes. While she's doing this summoning circle, right. I will speak to her. And those abominations... Uh, actually, no, let me let me not start with that. I will start by saying, "You are the one who created the teleportation spell." Was this castle in existence? Yeah, not like this one. This is not a pocket dimension I am used to. They're usually temporary, unless with certain specifications, like a bag of holding that is usually on a smaller scale. This this is something different. They, there was. Absolutely no possible way Laszlo was able to create this on himself. Just all by himself. The monsters around. They hint at... They hint at true resurrection. Meaning Laszlo was attempting it at some point. Yes, or some of his subjects. 
Do these monsters look anything like the ones that you create? She looks down for a moment, just pausing her conjuring for a few seconds and continues. Almost exactly. There are some variations depending on the race of the creature being resurrected, but all the time, very similarly. Some ribs bursting out of the chest, elongation of the spine bursting out into a tail-like extremity in the back, arms being pointed towards the sky. Very frail, but very quick. I assume you know whether or not there is some capability of reversing this process. She nods. There isn't. Well... How unfortunate. Yep, that's what I was going to say. She looks a little frustrated and just kind of like air slaps the portal, but just her hand goes through. What even is this bloody thing? Who made this portal? It's unlike... It, these runes are strange and foreign to me. Are you sure this is a a, some, a portal? A, a teleportation Sorry. circle? And Luke I, just wait. speaks up. Uh, of course, this is what the higher-ups use. It is a, a recreation of one of yours, no? Yes, but this has been modified and I don't understand it. It's strange. It might take me a little while, but... Um, I still have the map, right? You do. Do the runes look any, any similar to that weird script that none of us can figure out? It does. Woo! I just pulled it out the car. What is this? Something I found. I've never seen this language before. Not even sure if it's a language, to be honest. She looks it over, she takes it, and just kind of scans her finger around the various different... Uh, I've only seen a full world map a few times, but that's certainly not like one I've ever seen. She puts it down, glances over at Luke for a minute. This isn't a pocket dimension. This is a destroyed world. Wait, what? <gasps> what are you talking about? What do you mean a destroyed world? How does that work? She she lifts the map to you. This is not a map of anywhere in the lustrous expanse. This is a world that charted its lands as a language no one has understood. This place is completely dead. Whatever Lazlo was planning, he wanted all the necrotic energy he could find, so he found a world that was completely devoid of life. Oh, Only corpses place. remain, including the world itself. That would explain why you are having a difficult time with this magic. It would also explain how they're able to get so much necromatic power. It's easy to get it when everything around you is dead. And wouldn't that be such a great place for something that powerful as this Black Bane Queen to be fighting? Exactly. Another question might come to mind. What if whatever is left in this world that possibly destroyed it is still here? I uh would like to not humor that thought. But well, this I map, am. I think this map can help me with the circle. Some of the symbols seem to align. So is if I just... That perhaps whatever is here is maybe this Black Bane Queen is the thing that killed this world. <gasps> I thought. I truly hope not. <laughs> Ina, calm down. Uh, and Kara, these may be able to help you. I'm gonna pull out the arcane books. They were nonsense when I read them, but now they seem to make a bit more sense. She holds In them, context. kind of like flipping them back and forth between the map and the papers. If we make it out of here alive, Mr. Gainsby, would you mind if I took the time to research these? Assuming that all goes well, you can have as much time as you want. I wish to learn as much as I can about this world. But if this symbol, and she kind of scans it over. She casts a wave of arcane energy over the papers. They kind of float. She looks, her eyes kind of darting between them and the portal. She does a few hand motions, and the portal flashes. Should be good now. Okay. I very much think this is a point of no return, so I'll be exactly. ready. Exactly. Send the dog first. <laughs> Send the dog. No, he's not even he's not even here. I can't get rid of his token. <laughs> okay, All right. So uh what oh, a click and hit delete. Yeah. yeah. So he oh, okay. goes in go. the portal. And is there any sort of way you can 
know anything he does? I thought he wasn't there. It, no, he wasn't there. He's not I, there. I told he's not there. You, I, you tucked him in. That's yeah, right. No. Yeah. yeah. So who he's, wants he's to go in, in my pocket first? I'll go. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna die. I would like to go with Renee, please. All right. Please. <laughs> don't let her go alone. She's too squishy. Yeah. <laughs> Insanity. I, squishy. I don't think the echo can go through there, can I? Well, I've already no. used it. Well, yeah, if it's more than a thousand feet, I won't know anyway. So, yeah, so yeah, only one way to find out if we're too far away. So let's go. All right. Yeah. One by one, you step Whee! into the portal and you come out appearing the other side as if you had just simply stepped through an open door. And you guys can see oh. at the bottom here. Oh, no. You... Oh, I'm too zoomed in. Ooh. Hold on. Just before. Ooh. Just before we leave, I apologize for uh -huh. stalling. What's up? Oh. I'm gonna look at this menagerie of runes as they glow in front of my face. Right. And just before stepping through and disappearing into who knows where, I will say to myself, Father, perhaps in a world such as this, conjuration would have made more sense to me. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Uh, into the portal! <laughs> Into the portal. You show up on the other side, on the first floor of Vertheim. Something I want to note, Joe, mm -hmm. I am using Disguise Self. Mm. How are you disguising yourself? I'm going to pull a bit from everybody, from uh, the entirety of my party. And it's kind of a, a slight mixed bag of what everyone kind of looks like, if, but like slightly combined, so like... Nathaniel's uh, very <coughs> elegant face, <coughs> Renee's uh, eyes, and uh, and Luna's long hair, but mm -hmm. probably a little bit more, probably a bit more dingy. And then, of course, like the the Excuse stubble of, of Enoch. Yeah. <laughs> what he did you call my hair? hair is more st no, he said his hair no, is more stubble. No, oh, okay. it's, I'm gonna no, make no, it look. No, 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 I'm gonna no, make no, it no. look more Your dingy. Like yours is great. Yours is great. But no, I. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I want I want this version, but like pretty much it's just a combination of everyone's little attributes onto me. It's gonna right. look really, it's gonna look a little weird having an elegant face, but like thick stubble for Enoch, but it works. All right. You're just an elf who hasn't been well. in a while. It's fine. Yeah. When you step through and, the portal, uh, Luke yeah. kind of comes in front of everyone next to the doors before we head in. This is the supply hall. They will be patrolling skeletons. They mostly clean the place, but if they do not recognize you in spine of death garbs, they will alert the others. There is also a bone golem, kind of the guard dog of the area, but so long as you are able to get the uniforms before they see you, you should be safe. Then should myself and Enoch stay here and let Nathaniel and Renee get lost there on you? If you so wish, I will see if I can get its attention. While you try to find some uniforms. There are swords crates around, and we have many, many uniforms ready on various sizes. You should be able to find one. Do either of you have a way to alert us discreetly? Oh. I will message okay. one of you. He creaks open the door, and you guys can see the rest of the supply hall. Bones! Okay. Can I just say I'm I'm hiding on this side. I just don't yep. wanna I just don't wanna be in line of sight of the golem. Yep, yep. Me and, me and Nathaniel are wearing our garb, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. We just go. And Luke creaks open the door. Car is also sleep. disguised a little She's She she is too, disguised, too. but yeah. uh yeah. So Yeah, I'm just making sure. <laughs> so I, to try I, and just I go opt. by. Mm -hmm. I would have opt to try and like make my outfit at least look like a familiar Spine of Death, but yeah, least, likely right? one that you've seen before. You've seen lots of them. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I'm an underling. Uh, Renee and Nathaniel, uh, you, I'm gonna need just a your choice of survival or investigation. Oh, huh, okay. Checks. I'll do survival. If, Let's go. I'll do investigation. <laughs> <laughs> ha! You think that I've rolled this? You fool. I have a passive investigation. Of what? Oh, Wait. Yeah, but fucking Renee just critted. That Holy is true. Shit. Eh. Critical. <laughs> uh, I should have. I should have uh, put it. Put what it is. Uh, it is. Uh, uh, let's see. It's a, it's a plus three. That's an eighteen. Take that. 
<laughs> Amazing. So actually, huh? uh, actually, I think it might be a. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I forgot. So what it is. Renee, you scavenge the wilderness of crates, and searching through them, just judging by the placement of where things are, looking through them, peeking in the little cracks and crevices, you can see exactly where the uniforms are. It is on a stray crate, just kind of like off to the side, like over here. You're able to lift it up and grab a few that you feel as though might fit your companions. Cool. <laughs> and these bones don't give a crap that I'm grabbing extra uniforms. They don't. It looks like they cool. are simply like carrying supplies back and forth to crates. The one over here seems to be bringing some like dry food stuffs over to this crate. And mm -hmm. this one appears to be bringing just <coughs> a bunch of trash about to head towards the portal. Blah, 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 blah. You there. I'm gonna stop. beat it. I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna beat it. Ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna tell this one to stop. It stops and looks at you, cocks its head to the side. Remove your head. <laughs> <laughs> Take your head off your shoulders! <laughs> Shit! I don't blink. Neither does the skeleton. It simply stands there and does not follow your orders. Um, all right, good. In Understood. The so there are the things it can't do. In the meantime, do. that does give Renee enough time to bring the uniforms over. I probably grabbed three of them because even though I know the disguise self like does kind of disguise you, I know it's not like it's an yeah, illusionary thing. It's case. not physical. Yeah. yeah. So just in case, throw those on. Yep. Okay. So I say in case anyone tries to grab you, there is in fact fabric there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How long does it take to don these uniforms? Uh, not long at all. They're very. They easily slip on like a like a onesie. Cool. Oh, okay, cool. You know, I'm surprised these fit. It's hard for me to find anything that fits in the shoulders. Well, these don't do anything for the ass, unfortunately. I, I, you know, I don't need that. I'm not trying to impress anyone else. But You're done with your glamour amazing. show. May we go ahead? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have to be lighthearted sometime, okay? It's kind of fucked up here. Yeah, listen, you gotta have Very some well. fun. I do have Once fun. Once you guys arrive, it's called a oh, nice sorry. book and some tea. Agreed. And complete not silence. Mm. Not having that here, sorry. Uh, as Kara approaches me, uh, I will have experimented with a few other things. It didn't respond to remove your head, mm -hmm. but I will point towards this box, knock on that box. It turns to you, and it follows. It knocks on it. And sit ah. down. Sit down. Uh, it simply looks down, shrugs its shoulders, and sits. You stand back up. It stands up, and about now is when the party would arrive, and Kara looks at you. What in the hells are you doing? I must say, I see why you are so interested in necromancy. It's very fun. But I was ex <clears throat> I was seeing the power that this cloak provides. They can't do things that they're physically incapable of, but they seem to do anything else. Turn around, uh, walk towards the wall, and stand there. The skeleton turns, complete 180 degrees goes to the wall, and stands. <laughs> uh, question. Are these skeletons, or are these people? Those are skeletons. You can see that those skeletons are armed with crossbows. They are scanning the area. You can see their head kind of move just back and forth horizontally without moving any other kind of part of their body, almost like they're, like, sprinklers. Do the ropes mm -hmm. have a hood? Yes, uh, I they do. I want to make sure I've got that yeah. hood pulled up and mm -hmm. like, my hair tucked into it. Is... Yep, yep, you are able. There are also <laughs> two pads off to the side. However, you can see that there are doors. And Luke m speaks up and mentions, Those are restricted. They are very dangerous if someone were to find you in there. Restricted even, even my, to those. Even with my hot new look? <laughs> <laughs> As she like, gestures down at her fancy-ass robes. <laughs> he just like... Takes, he just puts a hand to his face. <sighs> yeah, <duh. laughs> you're the one who said that you they were high class shit. She's your daughter. Listen. Yeah, I was gonna say you can't appreciate <coughs> your daughter's fashion choices. <laughs> he just looks up. You to really the, are a dad. <laughs> he just looks up to the ceiling. <sighs> Why? I ask hey, that you chose day. this. You didn't get to act exasperated. This is my. Punishment for my sins. Oh no, that's on the way. <laughs> You've oh, seen no, this, maybe this five not... minutes of it. Spend a whole day with me. Fucking tell him, Renee. Right Jesus. Or God's. Not Jesus. Who's Jesus? <laughs> Who's the fucking Jesus? <laughs> Who's Jesus? 
<laughs> he is the one man to perfect true resurrection. <laughs> it took him about three days. Yeah, it took him three days. <laughs> Yeah. Kara's been trying to discover true resurrection for years. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> built this in a cave. You imagine ritual with a box of the past ten minutes. He killed the world. That makes sense. Yeah. Was, Jesus was able to build this in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> in a box of square. In a box of square. We're about to make people really mad. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> anyway. It's, it's a joke. So what is the plan? You can see at the very end, there is a staircase up, presumably, to the second floor of Vertheim. Uh, we didn't actually get a, an answer for whether our super outfits would get past these guards. True! Ah, uh, yeah, asking Luke that, so long as you appear to be the spine, even if a bit more ornate, you should be fine. Like I said, Luckily, there I are a few odd members with those same uniforms, albeit they are not sent out anymore you should be okay <laughs> very well, well. Did, are these older higher ranking members are they going to be ones that we are going to need to be mindful of are they people that are yes. to look at body of names hmm I myself are not familiar to them they are simply known as higher lieutenants we usually speak their title but not their name if they are to see you and do not recognize you, you may be in a bit of trouble. So I suggest you make sure they do not see you. All right. Fair enough. Well, now right. let's see if this actually works. I'm going to walk up to this big bone golem. Mm -hmm. Put your hand on your face. Cover your eyes. <laughs> it does so, but it has no... It, it just, like... <laughs> Puts its bony <laughs> hand up to its face, although it, you know, it looks like you could easily see through, but uh, covers its sockets. It covers covers its sockets <laughs> as best as it can. Um, when when you do that, would I be able to look back at Kara and be like, "Do you think you can figure out just exactly how to change this thing?" What the bone golem? Mm -hmm. They were doing weird things before. That's all. Yeah, uh, perhaps I can try and conjure up something. I'll see what I can find. Thank you. She looks it over, and Nathaniel, is, what else are you doing with this bone golem? Uh, nothing. My hope I mean, is that when somebody uh, next sees this golem, they announce loudly something akin to, Who did this? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. <laughs> Um, yeah, sound like something that dead. regularly happens in the spine of death. I'm gonna be angry. Yeah, this is That'd the goal. This is like this. This is my ward system for right now. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Kara finishes. Kara finishes her conjuring, and she speaks up. It appears that they have attempted to imbue magical capabilities into their summons, albeit at a cost. A few of them seem to have some sort of drawback, either frailty or difficulty in function. But they are capable of casting magics like you or me. Mm, I don't like that. They, they are rather frail. Can I, I don't suppose it's too much to see if you can see what exactly they're casting or what effects they're bringing. I, I don't know. It's not super important. I can take these things down regardless. Yes, it seems a few common necromancies, but more or less nothing spectacular. I assume... Laszlo wanted to start small so as to not put too much pressure on this body. I assume larger magics will require more trade-off. See. Ah, either way, I know how to <coughs> It's all right. You have a very straightforward way of dealing with things, don't you? It's gotten us this far. Don't it's knock it. Was, it's the only way I was taught, I'm afraid. Well, far be it for me to complain. Your friend is right. I've made it this far. She continues off. What are you guys doing? Yeah. What are you guys doing with the archers? I, I want to know yeah. uh, if, these, if these are any smarter than the other ones that we saw, or if they are just dressed fancier. They're basically dressed fancier. They're scanning the room. <laughs> they have very simple orders. Do you, they have bows and arrows? I want or... you to pat your head and rub your stomach. <laughs> it does not follow those orders. Aww. Uh, does it have a bow and arrow or a crossbow? A crossbow. That's very cool. Show me where you keep your bones. It simply just turns its hip without turning the rest of its body. You can see attached, there is a kind of quiver full of a bunch of bolts. Do you have a bolt loaded in right now? It simply lifts its... Well, looking at it, you can see it is. It is loaded. 
Oh, very good. Give me all of the bolts that aren't loaded. It simply turns its hip back away from you. I'll take these. See, obviously... No, it takes started? it away from you. Oh, away from oh. me. Never yeah. mind. Oh, okay. Whoa. I was going to say, you do far better with a dead audience. I, I did not expect that dead creatures would be so... <clears throat> Sassy. L- Luke walks up. They... They are under the command of Prodstyle himself. He did not want to take any chances, so he wanted his own personal summons to keep guard of this storage room. That's uh, very smart. Can he, no. can he be alerted by these summons of weird activity? He has not imbued that function on them. He has oh, only given them God. the minimum required function in order to keep this place safe. Besides, and he just kind of like has a, the slightest of smile. Why would any enemies come to this pocket dimension? I know that's also fair, but you know, security. Security is important. The skeleton. Right. How far is Bloodstride? I assume he's above us. They will not answer for you. Any information you try to glean, they will not be able to respond. They are not alive. They are no well, more than automatons. Well, they're going to let us through, right? Aye. He steps through. Well, all right, fuck. Are we goes through. Not, are we not How going to try roll? Always? What? If you'd like to go searching around, you may, but... It not particularly, I'm not in special rooms. Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, we have, we have, remember we have shit to do, you know, yeah, mouse, yeah, we, we have, we have mirth to save right now. Uh-huh. Hmm. That's bad. Yeah. Kara, yes. walking towards you, simply just eyes that other room while walking towards you, the stairs. Mm-hmm. Do we need what to keep an it? eye on you too? What do you see? Nothing. Inside, s- right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't trust you. You may. Yeah. I I don't want to I don't want to do it too, honestly, but that was sussy. That was honestly, sussy. yeah, kind of being sussy. <laughs> I, I trust Kara implicitly. <laughs> God damn it! She's gonna incite you back, but and she notices that you are all trying to take <laughs> <laughs> we all raise eyebrows from Enoch, who's just like laser <laughs> focused on Mirth. <laughs> She, she sighs, I'm not going to go rogue. I'm simply wondering if a few of my research papers are down here. Who knows what else they've stolen from me that might be in this place. If we survive and everything turns out all okay, we can come back down and check because then no one will give a clap. Very well. All right. I simply, this place simply doesn't sit well with me. But Same. also, if you do have your notes here and we are able to clear this place out, is it not better that, that that dark practice remains in a dead world? Yes. Or uh. destroyed. And tend to burn my papers. We're able to collect them all. We can do a comb before we can go do a comb over here before we leave. Thank you. I'll help. Of course. <laughs> so uh, you guys I'll going up the stairs? Yeah, I'll just cheer for Renee and Nathaniel to go yeah. first, since you know she probably have the head honchos up first. I ascend. <laughs> going up. Going go. up. You go I on go up. behind Renee. <laughs> and I ascend. You go on up. And as you do, you enter into the Athenium, the second floor of Vertheim, where you oh. see oh. Oh. a long oh. hallway oh. full that's, that's... of spine <coughs> of death oh. necromancers. Oh. Please tell me we don't recognize any of them. <laughs> You'll have to well. find that out on the next session because that no is what we're going to call it today. No! no.